Hello and welcome to Blaze Blue Central Fiction here at Frosty Faustings 16, right here in the center of the Midwest, at the anime tournament, bringing you one of the most hype anime games in existence, Blaze Blue Central Fiction Top 8. I'm Deadward, joined here by... I am Nobody Ixie, and you are correct about the one of the most hype games for the anime community of all time. Honestly, this game is almost a decade old, and you see the crowd in the back still going crazy. We still got, like, what, like 118 entrants for a 10-year-old game. Yeah. It's, like, the most ridiculous thing. We got returning players. We got new players. We got players that have improved, players that have not played the game in <laughs> over a million years still showing up and playing. So it's... It's a treat every year to really be able to watch and commentate Blaze Blue Central Fiction every year. Yeah, and big surprise is an unseated Celica player making top eight. Yeah, here. unknown <laughs> Celica player, Demarcus Cousins the fourth, never seen before ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's a uh, big thing. Is if you were a Blaze Blue player or a Persona player back in like the twenty. 14, 2015 era. Yeah. Uh, Demarcus Cousins used to go by a different name. Who would have thought? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. DS Move recently moved back from Japan to the States. Uh, and, you know, first tournament back, top eight. Why not? Nobody knows how to play against yeah. Celica. Again. No one knows how to play against <laughs> Celica. The, the perks of playing a weaker character, nobody's labbed that stuff. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, the way that he plays all of his characters is very, uh, how do you say, uh, in your face and doing really stupid stuff, but it's really annoying to deal with. And hey, shouts out to DeMarcus Cousins, because you can see him in the background right behind <laughs> high school, wearing the Clippers hat to hide his Majin Obama, uh, Majin Vegeta hairline. Oh my, ice cool. Kind of getting in the zone right now. Meanwhile, I haven't seen G DGF blink on the player cams yet. Honestly, the when I was watching DGF play, it looks like he wasn't a real person, so uh, the way that he was playing against some of the other characters also mm -hmm. made it seem like he wasn't a real person also. He was playing really solid, honestly, at, uh, using Jeremy's uh, strengths to his uh, advantage. You know, not a lot of crazy strengths that Jeremy has, but, you know, he does make do what, what he has. Yeah, showing the character variety, kind of like Celica. Terumi is considered a weaker character in the Just game, but is also a popular character in the game. So people know how to beat this guy. <laughs> Everyone's got a pocket Terumi in the uh, Blaze. Very Blue easy Blue. character to kind of like pick up and you know like play with and stuff. But honestly, playing against some of the other cast, it's 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 hard. Yeah, and it's uh, not standard uh, Blaze Blue yeah, pressure. Like uh, if you Rebel ever one, chain into like a 5C, that's your pressure. <laughs> All right, doing a little button check yeah, here. Yeah, Tarumi kind of addictive to play. You know, gets a ton of meter off of every drive move. Just gets to play with meter the way the other cast does not have the privilege of doing. I mean, that's his BNB though. You know, like most of his BNBs, he spend 50 meter. I'm gonna yeah. get a side swap or whatever, and then. Do something, get 50 meter back. And that's part of my BNB. All right, well, we're checking that the taunt buttons are bound here. One of the longest button checks of all time. Sometimes you just got to make sure. But, yeah. of course, Ice Cool rocking to Susano as well, Susan. Also another very popular character in the States. Yeah. Uh, high damage. Well, you know, slower, quote unquote, slower buttons. But is locked behind the skill system gate. And Ice Cool, of course, a player who we are not surprised to see here in top eight has been top eighting events all across the country. There's you know, always at least one Susan player in uh, Blaze Blue top eight, I feel, nowadays. Oh, yeah. If it's not Ice Cool, it's Adroth. The Susanos have shooters everywhere. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> if I say so myself. <laughs> but going into the first round we're gonna let these intros play i always just mirror match and one of them evolved into a better character <laughs> we've crazy. ascended the tier list and here we go the first match of blaze blue central fiction top eight TGF versus Ice Cool. Let's get this. Yeah, just playing a pretty slow neutral. So, Susano is one of those characters. Kind of interesting. You know, a lot of characters have kind of that very fast acceleration and then they move that top speed. Whereas yeah. Susano is like all the way right on the, at the 10 scale of speed, but his acceleration is like a 0.5. 
Yeah, I mean, but once he gets going, this big boy can move. And this is some of the slowest neutral I have ever seen in this game. It took about 10 seconds Ooh. for Ice School to do that first IAD. And back to Ice School. They're playing is really so slow. slow. Yeah, very patient. Hey, you've got to try to feel each other out, right? How are you feeling today? But, you know, Ice School doesn't have the DP unlock, which uh, gives a lot of uh, reversal options now. Yeah, maybe saw the bait there by DGF. They're kind of stopping the pressure after the G. Nice. Yeah, falls out that 5B. Gonna get some nice unlocks here. Overdrive, one of the best defensive mechanics in the game. And Ice School able to convert that to a little extra seals, a little extra damage. Nice. That is not an easy thing to do. And again, with the gimmick of meter, Tarumi has some of the mo has the most supers out of any character in the game. And like you saw there, that corner swap, one of those supers. Keeping yeah. it super slow on the staggers. I mean, as Terry, what do you do, right? You have not 50 meter, you know, reversal. You have overdrive in place, but he's just doing five days. And there it is. And we're going to time. Look at the timer right now. DGS have to make something happen. This, is this under night? This is the... S oh, we can pause okay. the timer, use the overdrive. The crowd is going wild. They know. They see the timer stuck at one second. Get... You know, uh, Ice School also has overdrive. Yeah, so let's see. Will Ice School try and freeze the clock here? Nope. No. Keeping the reason. The crowd is going tagged, wild. I think he tagged and the time uh, the time already ran out. Can you believe this is the slowest neutral I've ever seen in Blade? Eh, no know, one is over slower. I've seen it slower. Okay. All right. But I, I really like how Ice School is using the uh, the electricity orbs in his uh, pressure because it's not an easy input to do, right? It's a, it's a mash input. And then depending on how long you mash it is how long the uh, orbs will last. But it is a uh, very difficult to deal with uh, uh, pressure when he's mm -hmm. doing more. Nice fuzzy. Oh, blocked well by DGF. Wow, a, 5 8. Whoa, what a check there by Ice Cool. And again, back to that slow neutral. DGF, I think, believing in the defense here. I, mean, I don't blame him. His defense is pretty solid. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Yeah, I, I mean, had to say something. Believing in a false idol here. DGF opened up once again, one hit away. Yeah, level two uh, spit unlocked as well. Yep. I get into the corner switch, or side switch rather. Five B, yep, and that's gonna be it. Five B, very very long, really safe normal also, very non-committal. Yeah, has Gatlings into six B for an extension. That we saw there a lot of things actually. Susano, uh, like one of the craziest uh, Gatling strings, but all of them really kind of flow together really well. It uh, helps him unlock a lot of his stuff. Ice very safe. Right? Prioritizing the orb again, like you were saying. Yeah. Making use of that. Dude, you know something I don't. Usually, Susano players uh, try not to unlock it that fast compared to uh, what Ice is doing. All right, full stick of butter here, forcing in with the 6C. Nice. Doesn't barrier the uh, crush sugar, but not too much damage off of it. <laughs> Blocking one of the hardest standing overheads to block. We're in there. Oh, big throw. There's going to be big damage. Plug and the side switch. GGF got that damage over like three interactions, but Ice School with this overdrive is going to do that much damage for one. It's a big boy character. Good Dagger barrier. Pressure. Oh, just open up. <laughs> Last touch was unlocked. Level two dash. Nah, fuzzy. Yeah. Oh no, messed it up. He could have just astralled it. Messing up the input there. DGF, tons uh, of meter, has to spend yeah. burst, and we just go for the astral. First the astral of top eight. You know, these two characters are definitely, if you're just looking for astrals, these are the characters you've got to look for. Yeah, they're being very easy to build up that 100 meters. Susano has super, like, very easy with really common window it as well. Do you think the pace is gonna pick up here? I think. 
the pace needs to be set on BGF. Okay. Uh, this matchup is pretty rough for me. Uh, as you can see, you know, the, 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 the damage disparity is very, very evident. End of the day, yeah, DGF, you know, committing to this defense here, but Ice School is just wow. leveraging these plus frames off at 6P, find the Fatal eventually. You know, as well, we've seen the Crush Trigger into Throw combo wow. that Ice School likes to go for. Yes. There's so much stuff for DGF to react to. And the, the mental stack when uh, Ice School is on top of you is it's high, right? Especially when he's just, when he's got the, uh, like this. Yeah. Oh. Right, counter cult. Spending the bar here just to say get off of me and in and ice. Oh no, open up. Yeah, Spencer Overdrive. He's gonna have active flow, so he's gonna be building a lot of that uh, meter back. As well, just getting a small damage bonus, which I mean, at this life total will not do much. DGF completely in one hit territory. Oh, the plus once again. Oh, it's full confirmed this time. It should be dead, that's right. Oh, oh, drops it. Drop there. Top eight nerves. Yeah, cleaning it up with the low. GF not able to get much started in neutral or pressure. It nice. seems like Ice Cool is setting the whole pace of the game. Yeah, but now GGF turning it off to the offensive. Yeah, that J2D super plus. Wow. It's hard to deal with, especially with uh, a character like this, you know, right? Uh, slower buttons. Okay, here we go. Setting the offense, getting a ton of plus frames, even rapiding the uh, 6P oh. there, which is plus. This is the micro dash. The 6P. I still back on the offensive. Charge, yeah, he wants to get rid of a little bit of that barrier. Oh, ODR, no, but no yeah. punish. Maybe if it was a little earlier, that would have worked. It's it's hard for uh, a lot of characters to really come to Susan you know, after blocking that 6 D or making it work like, wow. <laughs> Sneaking in with another overhead. DGF, all right. Woken up, looking alive right now. All right, get off me. And DGF relying on this defense oh, extra block on the overhead. But 6A gonna lose in this neutral interaction. Really good damage though. 30 seconds left on the clock. If DGF blocks it out. Yeah, committing to it, but this orb forcing the way in for Ice Cool. No punish there on the 6 Nice. Uh oh. Watch the scramble here. One hit away, that almost did enough damage, but now DGF will have to find a clean yeah. hit. That was 15 seconds left on the clock, and DGF's defense is just on. Level three, action. DGF channel a little monarch here on defense, trying to be the unbreakable wall in a game with such good offense. <laughs> And really good offense, but at the same time, you know, so many characters have the access to uh, amazing defensive mechanics as well. You know, overdrive, yeah, uh, instant block barrier, barrier, and stuff. Ooh. As well, you know, the uni throw OS, or sorry, the blaze blue throw OS is one of the best in the fighting games. Yeah, you have to really call it out in a, in a really awkward way. Okay, DGF getting started. The crowd waking up here. They're rooting for DGF. <laughs> Dead angle attack baited. The crowd comes alive. Overdrive available. There we go. Hey. Yep. Keep it as simple. All right, DGF. The defense paying off. Really, you know, turning the jets on here. Like I said, DGF needs to be the one commanding the uh, the match. And be it either by impeccable defense or, you know, just controlling the corner. Uh, you can see it right there, like, he had high school in the corner, and there was not much that high school could really do to poke out and could find out. A, a nice situation where he would just kind of like take his turn back. Yeah, D I mean, and DGF forcing, you know, a lot of the plus rings that Tarumi has access to. We're seeing way more J2D. Yep. Full scramble there. 
Uh, unlocks the DP. This is where it gets kind of scary. There we go. Ice cool, a big fan of that crush trigger on offense. Dust kick uh, unlocked here, seeing it now. Ooh, I was going to say, really good uh, defense, but the delay 3C to tip out an uh, option flex here. Yeah. This is looking tough right now. Uh, you've seen other anime games before, an early burst is something you've seen a lot, but in Blaze Blue, bursting locks you out from getting active flow, meaning it's harder to get that burst back. Yeah. The more you overdrive, the more you have overdrive and burst, so EGF gonna really struggle to get that overdrive bar back. We will have access to it uh, next round, though. Like, that is the advantage of having uh, two early bursts as well, right? It's like, yeah. hey, if I spend nine bursts early, in the next round, I should have it back. Oh, oh, going oh, wow. for the dive kick there, whipping, but Ice School not able to contest the recovery. Oh, man, that fussy is so hard to deal with. Yeah, I mean... The really messed up part is Jeremy's not even a tall character. Imagine yeah. if there was a tall character on the screen. It's just, yeah, being forced to guess, and the fact that Ice Cool can just do it whenever is so difficult to deal with, especially when DGF's game plan is to have that unbreakable wall of defense. Uh-oh, good attack, so I'm locking a little bit more. Level 2 uh, tackle and uh, level 2 spin. Oh, no, just a fast oh. dash. And once again, DGF forced to burst, and now this is where it's bad when you're around down. DGF can't You're around get down, and that. Susano has Sword of Judgment unlocked. Level <laughs> yeah. 2 spin unlocked. <laughs> yeah, spin, level 2 spin is important because that pillar is super plus, so Ice School can just kind of hold their ground and set that up that wall. But I, I, mean, I don't even think it's about the plus frame, man. It's, it's the amount of damage that you get from uh, uh, the wheel unlock, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there it is again, the uh, delay 3C. DGF will get knocked down into losers. And they get off advancing. with the perfect there. <laughs> I mean, these are two players who have played against each other a ton of times, you know. It's like, exactly. It's like, how dare you block everything? <laughs> yeah. How dare you? I had to work way too hard to find hits. That's messed Why up. Why don't you just... Go crazy, go ham. Oh, well, yeah, just fuzzy me again, bro. <laughs> Come on, like it's hard. Yeah, look at that smile. <laughs> DGF showing off those pearly whites. Glad yeah. to be here, glad to be here in top eight, even though being sent to the loser side. Exactly. I mean, you could see how good a uh, defense that DGF has to really put up with because he's playing, like, like you said, a weaker character. Yeah. But you also saw how much... Um, command he was taking in that second uh, round as well, where he was just kind of bullying uh, Ice School in the corner because there's not much Susan can do against that J2D. Yeah. Especially when you're that low to the ground, it's just like, okay, well, I'm just going to, I guess I have to instant block bury you out. I have to instant block bury you out. And, you know, it looks like DGF is, like, really struggling when you see Susan do, like, you know, stagger pressure over, over, over again. You have to find the um, area where you're like, okay, I guess I can take or try to steal my turn back here. Mm -hmm. But it's like, this is plus, man. Like, and it, yeah. And DGF, regardless, was still finding situations like was that was creating opportunities where Ice Cool would overextend. We saw Ice Cool do the double overhead count. ending yep. in 60. And DGF was like, great, I blocked so long and now I get a free punish. Like, thank you. This was the game plan the whole time. Yes, exactly. But speaking of impeccable blocking, yes. we have the uh, returning king of Frosty Frostings, uh, Monarch himself, versus, of course, another well-known player, A Bad Line. <laughs> yes, defending champion here, Monarch, winner side of top eight, as everyone expected. Going up against Bad Line, one of the best Subakis in NA. Well, we'll see if he actually ends up going with Spocky because there has been a lot of Rachel play coming okay. from Bad Lime, especially in the pools and stuff. I believe uh, Bad Lime only switched to Subaki against DeMarcus Cousins the fourth. <laughs> yes. So we will see what happens there. All right. But I don't know. I, it's like Rachel is such a good pocket character, especially mm -hmm. uh, against some of the characters that Monarch plays against. But at the same time, it's just kind of like, you know, play to your strength, right? Yeah. Monarch, known, of course, for the Lambda, but also S as well. I, I feel like uh, Monarch has been really choosing S over Lambda mm -hmm. nowadays. It's kind of like, hey, man, I just want to win <laughs> earlier. 
I don't, I don't feel like blocking anymore. I didn't pay, you know, 60 bucks to block. Yeah, I mean, the, but I mean, for Monarch, you're paying that money to fly out and take every Blaze Blue player's money. Like, let's hey, be real. Hey, I'm just saying, Monarch <laughs> leads. He did lose the banana can at that last combo break. Yeah. So also, you know, not unbeatable. There, there's a level of yeah, and losing to Jonah at Evo, I believe, like, you know, the king does bleed, but I mean, if there is someone who is consistent, you know, if, that, you would be surprised if they were not top in top eight. That player is Monarch. Yes. Consistency is the name of the game. Yeah, I, I was just talking up his ass and how he, you know, wants to win faster and stuff. Yeah. And all of a sudden he's just like, you know what, I feel like playing Lando, why not? Yeah, you know, th this this is the this is the big he brain me. play. He heard me. Picking Lambda to bait the Subaki he does not want to play against Rachel. Maintaining the mental here, that's the plan. Now Lambda is considered a weaker character as well. Mm -hmm. But I've seen a lot more Lambda players at Frosties this year. Yeah. Might be because of a certain somebody. A little inspired, yeah, Monarch creating the next generation. One, action. Let's see, button check or not? No, we're going right into it. Yep. Playing that very good control. Okay. Drive. Get me out of here. And then Bablam going to be facing kind of nice like a hard player matchup here, you know, playing Subaki, a strike throw character against Monarch, one of the best defensive players in the game. Oh, wow, the cross under the classic. Nobody's ever ready for it. That was no. the first time. That's a nice delay attack. Yeah, and avoiding the chase. Avoid, yeah. First perfect for Monarch. Very commanding lead. Rebel 2. What is there to say about Monarch other than it's the best? All right. Unfortunately, it just gets right over. Nice routing. Yeah, I mean, Nablime able to get some shift damage here, at least dodging the double perfect, but situation is dire here. Monarch set up yeah, in the corner. Ooh. Oh, tries to zap. Get up to Monarch. Yeah, Lambda kind of has a weird looking standing overhead. It's kind of that one where he dashes forward yep. like that in the air. It always hits because I'm always expecting two hits. Mm -hmm. But it is this one hit. And speaking of overheads, we saw that with the 4D. That overhead comes from behind your character, which means that if you're cornered, you can't see it. You just got to look at the character. You yeah. Know? That's, I learned that in uh, 2008 when I played Vegas against new, uh, <laughs> new. One. Yes, it does still have a startup animation on the character, but you're looking for the projectile, and that's invisible. Whoa. Nice. Yeah, picks up the button. One of the worst feelings in fighting games when you're staring down and right as you press, counter hit. Like, you also chose one frame before me. Come on. How dare you try to make me block. Oh, there Ooh. we go. Tsubaki, queen of... Uh, I have a lot of overheads. Nice delay. Oh, goes for that the again. triple again. Yeah, Subaki able to use her D button, the read to cancel a lot of her normals, allowing for, you know, kind of different advantage frames as well as additional overheads. Yes. Now, I really like what uh, Bad Life did right there, right? So he starts the OP, goes into uh, Banana Super, and this jumps, lets the bananas push. Monarch back into the corner. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know, Monarch Two. found that spot to uh, Fuzzy Nash, getting that counter hit to A, and really capitalizing a little bit. Spending the double jump there good. You know, Monarch reading the jump there, controlling the air, but Bablime just running in, being very brave there. Nice. Oh, no. oh, nice. Oh. Oh. No. Yeah, excellent oh, hand here, but no confirm, and this is a perfect ODR. Yep. That's what you're looking for in Blaze Boot. Any sort of standing overhead, a C button with a lot of recovery, that's what you're trying to ODR, get a full punish, and getting closer to active flow here. All right, good block. Okay, jumps back, yeah. Notice that he messed up. But Subaki with three stock available, and a lot of meter in active flow. Yeah, bad line. You, see, you, you know, the damage disparity right there. Getting a good, oh, Ooh. crush trigger. Yep. 
This is guaranteed here. All right, Bathlime making this run one hit away, Monarch. Here we go, the defense blocking the standing overhead, blocking the standing overhead again. That was three That's standing great. overheads. That's just defense, man. Three blocks, yeah. Whoa. And uh, yeah, immediate tech. That, whoa! Yeah, this rock. rock. Subaki's fast, man. Yeah. I, I believe she's the fourth fastest character in the game. That, I mean, that's always the hardest thing to do, though. If your character strength is run speed, and you know Lambda could do a 5D like that, just cover the whole there screen. The bravest thing to do is just be like, I'm holding forward. I'm covering this distance. And I, you think I'm going to jump, but I'm not. Wow. Very aggressive from uh, that line right there. Oh, no. You don't want to see that. Yes, against a player who it feels like you have to play perfect against to beat those mistakes will cost you. Nice, delay a uh, rapid cancel to the frame trap. Okay, a little bit of extra reading there for Bad Life just to get, you know, have a stock, but yeah. All that for 3,200 3, damage. One hit away there, blocking the invisible overhead, fuzzying that one. Just give me a counter assault. Just spend this bar. Bad line. I mean, stuck in the gravity well. How are you gonna counter assault this man? Yeah, I mean, you're too far away now, and uh, that's gonna, gonna be, be it. it. Yeah, bad line will get sent down into the losers bracket where he has to play against so many. <laughs> it's 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 chaos down there. Oh, but that's where we're going next. Monarch on the way to play Ice Cool, but. The loser's side is full of killers right now and always one game away from elimination. We'll be going there next. That's going to be exciting. At least there are no Carls in that loser's <laughs> bracket. Once, you know, uh, in top 48, Grover was in uh, the loser's side. I'm just like, I feel sorry for everybody in the yeah. loser's side right now because I know exactly what Grover does. Grover's just going to eat him up. That's oh, what he's here to do. Exactly. But... Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in to Frosty Fausting 16 over here in Lombard, Illinois. I am Nobody XE, and I'm joined here with Deadward. Uh, it is always a pleasure to commentate this game. Uh, and of course, buy Blaze Blue. That is always <laughs> on sale. Get always on sale. You know, rollback is implemented now. Rollback and is amazing for this uh, for Blaze Blue. Actually. It's uh, one of the best implementations of rollback. And you, there's a lot of anime games that are notorious for being like hard to learn. You know, there's a lot of knowledge check stuff like that. Blaze Blue is one of those games. Exar is one of those games. But post rollback, there's been a big push to make onboarding a lot easier. Yeah. So even though they look intimidating and they're really difficult to play, they're very rewarding, and there are people who are willing to help you be acclimated to the game and exactly. learn about it. I think Blaze Blue community is one of my favorite communities. So you know, it's. It's not changed over the years. It's it's uh, very friendly. A lot of people just want to talk smack all the time. <laughs> I'm going to talk smack about DeMarcus Cousins the fourth over here in a second, and I'm going to talk up Yuri, because Yuri is a lab monster and a genius, but DeMarcus, is a, there's a reason he's wearing the hat. <laughs> Take, Take the hat off, Dia. My boy, going for the clip. Oh. <laughs> Let me see the hairline, baby. Come on. On the other, oh my god, yeah, sure. <laughs> getting harassed. Yeah, on the other hand, Uri playing one of the most Demarcus Cousins hairline. That's the new tag right there. Man, nah, that that's mad talk. You know, the Blaze Blue am, community is not well. You guys have not experienced the old Blaze Blue scene where it was just <laughs> me on commentary, literally talking about DS's hairline for 30 minutes. <laughs> that's cold. Yeah, I mean, Yuri, like you were talking before, Lab Monster plays one of the more technical characters in the game in Lychee, also one of the strongest characters in the game. Exactly. I mean, it's really hard because Lychee is one of those characters that reach that really big apex up on top of the screen yeah. and just throw a staff down. And what do you do against that? It's like there's a projectile coming down on you. Uh, and now it's coming back toward me, and I'm going to do it again. It's really hard to deal with that game plan. Uh, also... Want access to one of the best DPs in the game with mm -hmm. the staff. Unfortunately, it is not rapid cancelable, but there's a reason it's not RCable because it would be way too good. On the other side of the screen, Celica. You know, same story as Tarumi. You know, this character considered to be very weak, really struggles, has a pretty unique gimmick. 
you know, has a lot of armor that gives her recoverable health, and she can spend that health to increase her drive. Well, we're not going to see any of that because he has blank. Yeah. Actually, no, you'll see it. It's, 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 it'll be a very interesting match because DS likes to do things kind of kind of nutty. I'm not player. All right. Very conservative uh, round start for both these players. Just super jump away. Yep. Checks with the 2A. Nothing cool, Mr. Mortal. Yep, there's DP all the way top. Oh, but this is where Lychee wants yeah, to be. Yeah, I'll just stall, set up the staff. You know, I'm chilling. A. Set up the staff. A. Why did you block that over? Always blocking overhead. It's like, well, I hope they were trying to overdrive that because that would have been nice. All right, good. Confirm. Into the court now. Marcus Cousins. Gets set up, gonna counter assault oh, right wow. away, but Uri not able to escape the corner, even spending that bar now, spending this burst full resources to get out of here. Get a staff. Oh no, DS tried to smack the staff. Nice. Oh, big! Huge! To Marcus Cousins. Bring it back. Super? We need one yeah, more loop. Look at that damage, baby. 5.5. Low tier character. Yeah, this yeah, I mean. It's true, but she does a lot of damage. Level two, action. All right, let's see. You saw skip. What? Hello? Yeah, see, that's what a top tier looks like. <laughs> that's the difference. Take your 5.5k. I want that. Okay, nice. A little bit of a uh, uh, the mental sack to add on to your TA starter. Three K and oh, it doesn't block the here. overhead. The Marcus Cousins. Nice micro dad, you know, get out of the corner. Oh. Yeah, that, that's the knowledge check right there. I've seen so many people oh. get hit by that. That's a tech trap, baby. That's, that's old school. That's from like 2019. <laughs> That's a 2019 tech. DeMarcus Cousins going up on the first game with the old stuff. And you know, add to the mantle stack of now Uri's like, I am not teching again. I am not holding the tech. What just happened to me? I died. Counter. All right, again, on round oh. start, both players kind of choosing to take to the skies oh, wow. here. It's okay. It was not an enhanced version of the overhead, so no combo. Oh, oh no. no. So that is actually not a good burst point, that auto burst. All right, DPs, armors. It will give it a little. You know, and that's the thing about Celica, right? Like, I haven't played against her. I don't know that there's no burst point there. He's just doing stuff, man. He's yeah. Having, he's having the most fun. He's smiling. Movement, overdrive, and bar chooses to spend neither. Or he getting a second chance at life here. The Marcus Cousins ran a mix up. Delayed. Uh, so, so every time he does the uh, jump D in the air, it delays his falling recovery. So. Yeah, well, I like doing it. Do it again. Anti anti right. here. All right. Good punish. Hurry trying to get wise here. That's actually one of the uh, first punishes I've seen from uh, any player against the uh, Celica Bottle Combo. Okay. That's a good knock. Oh my god. Demarcus Cousins. Demarcus Cousins. He's too good. How did Wild you avoid card. that? This character's Oki is notorious, and DeMarcus was not on a dodge like that. What is happening? Yeah, DeMarcus Cousins better make it to Grand Finals. This player is a joy to watch. All right, oh. grab your hands. That's the, that's the Light Shea Classic. All right, calm down, DeMarcus. <laughs> having a little bit too much fun. We need Five wild, but up. not crazy. You gotta dial it back like one level. You gotta become a walnut, not a cat food. Ooh, ooh. Crouch conservative, that misses the uh, micro dash. Okay, good. Use ah, excellent DP fail starter. How dare you try that again? All right, Uri's had not enough. Again. No more fun. Now it's time for oppression. This is what a top tier looks like. That's no red. All right, sends the staff. Unfortunately, uh, doesn't go forward, but it's okay. Now he has staff on. Uh oh, Demarcus, watch your go. 
All right, beater available. You know, maybe a, a counter oh, no. if you it's live. Okay, it's okay. An overdrive, it's, it's a little safer. We can uh, independently uh, call the staff in the direct. All right, can only get hit by the staff like two more times now. Yeah, this is, where bad life, for this is where life kind of excels. You know, super jump. <laughs> Oh, yep. Yeah, I mean, DeMarcus forced to kind of thread the needle there so many times. That staff is just going to be holding down all that space. Got to find a hit there. Just because DeMarcus has no hair doesn't mean you can just the keep doing overhead. Pick a struggle. One. Action. <laughs> nice block in the overhead. Oh, nice. Catch with that jump sheet. Full confirm. Nice pick up with that dash. Uh, Mike, that's 5 8 Getting a little off -hole here from DeMarcus. And all that off of an air to air there. Dar De DeMarcus's conversion game is fantastic. Nice block. Unfortunate. Tried to fuck out. Hey. Hey. All the corner. Oh, drop. Oh, it's able okay. to. And the way that DeMarcus is able to scramble so much with two, I mean, like, this That's, button is doing so much. He's a scramble boy, man. It's what he does. Oh. Unfortunate drop, but, you know, not, not terrible. Ooh. Gonna allow Uri to escape the corner. He said, yeah, you hit me with overheads, but I also hit you with overheads. And that's gonna be it for uh, Yuri right here. Round one, going to DeMarcus. All right, but Murray has had their back to the wall before. You know, one round away from losing him. Able to bring it back last time. All you got to do is just knock the Marcus down. Yeah. And then do some some uh, real mess with Oki. You're, you're playing like Oki. Ooh! Big hit. Bar point. Able to get the knockdown there, you know. Uri not checking out and kind of setting the staff up from the top of the screen this time. I like the frame traps for Marcus. Ooh! Catching low there, I mean, like, both of these players seem inclined to kind of chick and block. No one wants to hold each other in pressure. Here. I didn't pay $60 a block, did you? No, no, no. And especially against Light. Yes, he's just trying to up back with that barrier. Yeah, you know, the plus the out. Yeah, doing it again. Yep, guard cancel out. But Uri, you know, wising up to it, going for, like, the jail staff there to try and pull uh, DeMarcus back to the ground. <laughs> He's got a little bit of the, yep, I was going to say, see, every time you see uh, Selica have that little green bar above her, yeah. you use it to enhance your specials, or you use it to heal a little bit of help. Right, those hand specials fast or somewhat That's harder. an overhead. Oh, it means Cali Burst. We believe. Oh, uh, DeMarcus, oh, it's look, DeMarcus, oh. DeMarcus, why? DeMarcus bursted for that? All right, DeMarcus, you got to, you got to get a little serious Rebel here. three. You're down this much overdrive. Uri could potentially kill here without DeMarcus getting first back. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get the other. Oh, wants, the, wants that corner. Wants that corner. Nice barrier out. Yeah, but the immediate jump called the staff there from Uri. Oh, yep. That JD. Putting in that word. Doing so much right, here. Out. Again, that jump D. Putting in the word. And again, so because Uri bursted this round, active flow is not on the table here with DeMarcus getting closer and closer to it. Opened up, but no confirm. Ooh. Oh! A little bit too far. Awkward. Right, here's here the staff. Things are closing in on Uri here. AD, and the, once again, it's not going to kill just yet. The story of this match, oh, we're wait. building the bar. Oh, no, not quite. Overhead! DeMarcus Cousins, the fourth! <laughs> Eliminating Uri in the first match of losers. I mean, what a way to end it. So much of that set was 2D just bailing DeMarcus out. It was just a lot of jump Ds bailing him out. It would randomly cross Uri up. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, who plays Selica, right? Yeah, I'm catching Uri pressing a button, you know, blocking the wrong direction. You know, not that, that there is anything Uri could have done with that, because that's just unpredictable. Hey, you know, DeMarcus plays uh, like a nut, and it's very evident, but he plays like a very well-oiled nut. Yeah. So I, I don't got anything to say about it. He's doing good. He advances toward it, but it looks like we're going to have our next match coming up. And, uh, you know, like I said, the loser's bracket is a uh, wondrous place. Yes. It's a, a place filled with horrors. <laughs> uh, it's, like, it's like Bible verses in there or something. Like, 
biblically accurate angels, and of course we got Kairos and Days, aka 13 Blades, coming back up in the losers bracket. Uh, Days has been kind of switching around, uh, you know, either Jin or Mai. Uh, did qualify in his uh, last match to qualify into top eight with Mai, but Kairos also qualifying Please with of course, the hop. Yeah, and I'd imagine we're gonna see the Mai pick here just because I'd imagine Hazuma is going to see Mai do JD and be like, get me out of this matchup. I've had it. Kairo's going to... She's going to backflip. And he's <laughs> yeah. going to be like, why didn't that hit her? Why is that projectile in Vol? Or, Ky you know. Kairos is, control Kairos is going to pull his controller out and be like, it disconnected. You have to DQ me. I've had enough. I didn't get embarrassed by that one special move. <laughs> it wasn't me. But it's okay, because if uh, if, if Daze goes and picks the gin, you know, I get to call him 13 Blades for at least a, one more match. <laughs> Yeah, we'll see. But that. of course, there is a reason that Kairos is in the top eight, multiple, multiple, uh, you know, uh, finals uh, yeah, participants uh, in uh, so many tournaments. Yeah, I mean the the Hazama, the Hazama the players have been destroying. leveling up so much. Level I mean, Fuzz barely missing uh, yeah. top eight here. Fuzz is one of the uh, Hazmas that I'm like super impressed by all the time. I'm just like, man, there's no way that you that. Yeah. yeah but Fazama being a player, I'd say that it was like, how do you squeeze so much damage out of every confirm? But I mean, Fuzz not making it. Kairos is our Hazama on screen. Yep. All right, meaty throw. That's second. A8. All the way to the corner. Sky. Very methodical, yep. I mean, it, the, dude, my, my staggers are a nightmare to deal with. And that dash so quick there, allowing Days to close the distance in the stagger pressure. Yep. What are you going to do? Do something. Ooh yep, okay, he did it. He did something. 2C excellent starter here, and Hazama's overdrive allowing him to steal health here from Jays. Really good damage, too. That was a lot more than 4 k because it doesn't uh, show the damage that you get from uh, the, uh, the dot. Hazama getting that secret damage. That's the tax of damage. Oh, big hater energy. That was a hater throw. That was a hater throw. I like it. Kairos. Rebel. Okay. I Bringing the hater that. energy to loser side of top eight. I would have done it. <laughs> hey, stalling yeah. out, and you know, like I was talking about before, this projectile is horrible for Kazama to deal with. I mean, that projectile is horrible for every character to deal with, but uh, in this matchup in particular, it's very difficult. The setup here fakes the snare. Oh, we're just trading everywhere right now. Uh oh. Guard break. It's okay. Good tech, but we get with the air throw instead. Tech my ground throw. I'm going for the air throw. Pretty much okay. All right, goes for the uh, late air dash, but Kyle's seeing it. Nice. Cosmo special base, 4 duty throw. A, A, A. Yeah, that should be death. RC is available even if it doesn't kill, but this. All right, Kairos making a bad matchup look easy here and against Days as well. You know, earlier on in that um, qualifier Select for top eight, I saw Kairos uh, dropping that super a lot. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad to see in top eight that he's not dropping that. Yeah, had a nice little gap between top 48 and top 8, so the players got a chance to rest, think about their game plan. Now, okay. After Dave's went back to character select, I assume that Jin the was coming out, but we just need a moment to relax, Rebel a moment to breathe. One. Hey, man, I respect it. Sometimes yeah. we get a little break. Because that, that first round that uh, uh, you know, Dave was pretty much in control for the most part. Yeah. And I mean... It, it never looked like it was unwinnable for games. Yeah. So, unfortunately, right now, Kyra's controlling the pace of this matchup. Yeah, out of chains needs to touch the ground and getting a negative warning for it. All right, early burst. Nice. Yeah, counter hit JC for Maya is generous. That spot is racist. Ooh. 
No attack. How dare you? Have punished for full damage there. Damn. Okay. down with the Suzeron. Wow. How's my back there? Oh! That's big. Yeah, able to, you know, Dave being respectful on defense. Pyro's trying to abuse it again, <laughs> but the jump out. Ooh. Ah. The mix. Which way do you block? Honestly, I don't know. Level two. Action. Whoa, oh. flabby hands. Yeah, I many blade blue characters, you know, just super jumping round start is very safe. You know, you can't get hit by an overhead low, like just get out of there. And he's able to answer it with that air throw. Creating the situation, Kairos just struggling, trying to jump out so much, but Dace every time with that 2C controlling the air. Yeah, I like the uh the fuzzy guard from Kairos right there. Weathering out the storm. Oh, well, scramble there going for a, an interesting piece up there with Kairos. Oh, well, doesn't block the overhead. That's a good, so you're getting jailed there, right? Like, you know Kairos is going to be plus when you land, and that's exactly when Kairos sneaks in with the overhead while you're not expecting. All right, nice. Command dash out. Yeah, escape in the corner there. I'm out. My turn. All right, fuzzy guard out. And here, tons of hard to spend on the side of days. Next hit should be it. Nice. Whoa! Uh oh. Yeah. Overdrive uh -oh. is invincible except to burst. He's able to make it out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was tricky. Yeah. Didn't know which side I'm gonna end up on. Rebel All right, Days is a little bit of an overdrive disadvantage, but over the round, it's not gonna amount to much. No change. <laughs> Uh oh, a little bit too like, fast. Yeah, maybe tried to cross under there, but press too early. My swinging in the wrong direction. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, yeah. had no change available. Yeah, you see those shocks below Hazama's meter. That is, if that those, if there are numbers there, Hazama nice could TRM do a follow-up. Nice TRM setup. But Hazama needs to touch the ground to get those stocks back, so. Once you're out, Hazama's movement becomes a lot more predictable. Ooh, wow. Nice little lace ring. Uh-oh. Tries to beat the burst. <laughs> the burst is coming out. Right. The stance. And again, we see whenever Kairos is Jalen going for that 6A. That's the offensive plan right now. Yeah, the JC taking it. Days still holding on to his tournament life. Yeah, out of stocks there once again. And you know, once Cairo whisks Chain out of stocks, it's a free punish if Days is yeah, in Yeah, counter hit recovery all the way through. The yeah. wheel of fate is turning. Rebel, one, action. Yeah. All right, we're, we're picking up on some habits here. Days, we're really willing to go in here. No change now. Continue offense on the ground. Nice burst base right there. He felt it in his bones. That was definitely a hard bait right there. So he gets to get burnt off in this chain. Now, doesn't block the meeting. Yeah. I don't know what the plan there was for me. Reversal, trying to map, maybe reading the command grab off of the stance, but... Yeah, I mean, even if uh, he was reading yeah, command throw in that stance, uh, I feel like... Two. Action. Just jump out, right? Yeah, don't pressing get the button there is, uh, you're, you're forcing yourself to get counted. All right, out of stocks here, just waiting on the ground for that resource to return. Got it back. Nice firm. Special damage. The overhead plus though. Yeah. Still Kairos' turn here. So Kairos on that tournament point. They see. One of the good staggers here dash in. Kind of scrambling here. Kairos trying to return to the ground. Okay, nice. Abari is up. Ready to go with the throw. Oh, nice delay of string, RC. Not that just yet, but Kairos is up. Yeah. 
this up. Here we go. Final game, final round elimination here. Yeah, Reese Kairos is going to get that burst back. You see that Level nine right there? Three. Coming back right away. Yeah, the resources are basically even. Days going for the air throw there. You know, reading the defensive round start for Kairos. Kairos out of chains right now. Still out of chains. You got to be on the ground. Oh. And that's something. So when you're out of resources and you know that Days wants to go in there, that's the perfect opportunity to hold your ground, get ready to react with an ant here, for example. Well oh, position. Catch the wall as well. Oh, so to find the ender. Out of chains. Opportunity yep. for Days to take their turn. <laughs> A lot right, of, out, yep. but no confirms here. Days sp finally spending this resource. Uh -oh. Nice block at the oh. oh, big, huge. Able to pick up, cross under, but Kairos able to block the right direction. Eight seconds here. Next hit is for certain death against Days. Uh oh. Both of these players can't cash out. But blocks the whole tension and mash. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, that was counter assault. Use, use counter assault to yeah. uh, make sure that. It's oh, awesome. what a scramble here. Counter hit, that's Kairos, and continuing on in the loser's bracket. What a scramble to end it off there. Yikes, 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 yikes. Yeah, if, you, if I was those players, that, that situation was so stressful. It's like, I, yeah. need, I need to force something to happen right now. I can't reset this neutral. This, 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 this situation is the best for both of us. But we'll be right back. We're going to have a short ad break. Stay tuned for more of this top eight Blaze Blue action. And welcome back to Frosty Fossey 16. We got a banger going on for you. We got DeMarcus Cousins the fourth versus DGF. And we saw some of the amazing defense that DGF had, but how is he going to fare against the uh, Selica Nut himself, right? Straight from Japan, bringing out all this crazy tech from Selica, this character that nobody's seen before, unknown player. Yeah, La Un last year, Jay Anson Nezu from Japan. <laughs> this year, Demarcus coming in, rooting for the underdog. I'm sorry to say it, but our low tier heroes will be killing one another here for your entertainment. So get excited. Unknown player, Demarcus Cousins the fourth. <laughs> Unseated. Unseated, ruining some random person's bracket, unfortunately. <laughs> the 2D menace, let's get it. <laughs> you know, he still hasn't taken off that hat. I wonder what's under it. Yo, what, what's underneath? Mercury. The what world underneath? may never yeah, yeah, know. Who knows? <laughs> Could be the next Blaze Blue game. Yeah, Mori, Mori signed it. It's underneath <laughs> the hat, man. I'm just telling you. Coming in from Japan to Marcus. Unseated. What a bracket run here. Big ass, <laughs> yeah, big ass head. Tournament life. Yeah, big ass bracket, big ass Big ass bracket, big ass head. Mori's entire new game studio is underneath <laughs> that hat. You know that? <laughs> Demarcus has had enough. Folks, we're live in the hall right now. The audience can't hear us, and Demarcus can hear us. Oh, man, that's also. unfortunate. That sucks for Demarcus. The wheel of made <laughs> Good for DGF, though. Rebel but we're one. going into this first round. <laughs> All right, get excited here. The low-tier heroes battling it out. Nice. 5B, 6A. Yeah, DeMarcus is really uh, a big fan of uh, super jumping on that round start. And once again, using that auto combo to get that side switch. Yeah, guaranteed to get out of the corner there. And All right, set knock up. down, set up. Get to the movie throw. A, A. Yeah, a little classic central fiction there with the 5A, make them think you're going meaty. Hit them with that throw. Overhead. You know, DGF had really, really good. Uh... <laughs> DGF walked forward so long and then died. Yeah, but he's playing against Demarcus Cousins the fourth all the way from Japan. Action. <laughs> the JP represent. You changed the flag on the on the display. This, this man's from Japan. You know, there's a story once where uh, he had um, two girls come over from Japan, and he was like, hey, you guys want to play Marvel? Oh. The, I, I didn't know that about DeMarcus. Yeah, he's, this guy, He there's a reason he's in this top eight, you know? Honestly, the amount of charisma that he gives off. Yeah, back in the day when it was still called charisma, they hadn't shortened it to Riz yet. The overhead coming out from DeMarcus. Is that why they call it Riz? 
Yeah, that, I mean, that is why they call it Oh, my risk. God. I never knew that. I'm the old man. I, you're, you're learning something new I'm learning every something day. new. All right, let me see this, uh, this impeccable be Oh, what? yeah, it's not invincible. Yeah. Trying to get out there with the dive kick. TP the gets punished. Big damn it. So, okay, Celica's in uh, active flow, and another DP out. Demarcus, you know, un unconvincible, you know, will not be convinced nice that you're going to fade yeah, that. Yeah, this is really hard for uh, DGF now. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's one way. Deep down. Nice These block. players not, are not overhead. blocking overhead, and second of all, they are crazy. I'm telling you, the secret tech to blocking the overhead is always hidden <laughs> underneath that hat. DGF breaking out the air-to-air -air super. Hey, Need 50 bar to do that? The Sometimes the turning. risk reward, you just got to take that one. risk. Action. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> oh, these, I've never, I, I've never seen that interaction before because I've never seen uh, Salika versus Jeremy. These players are too. How does DGF know the round start for that? Like, oh yeah, this blows up Salika. <laughs> yeah, why not? Unfortunately, getting hit while in overdrive is gonna cause him to uh, kind of spend that without uh, much uh, reward. Yeah, not uh -oh. get much off of that overdrive in hands, but blocking the overhead here, TGF, nice. and able to get out with the reverse. DeMarcus back in. He's in there, baby! <laughs> DeMarcus is always in. The range is that he wants to play in. It's just so awkward for DGF to deal with. The voice is rush trigger there. 6 a jail back with the 2D. Gets him that extra meter. <laughs> Did you have taken to the air a lot yeah, frame trapping. the Marcus. A lot of people don't understand that. I, I believe that's uh, Salika's 6B. That, that's, a, that's a frame trap. Oh, oh here we go. ODR. Oh, no, oh, no. Big punish, except I lied. DGF not able to convert there, and now one round away from being eliminated here by DeMarcus Cousins the fourth. I like that game plan right there. Ooh, the stand, stand of the range, let him come to you. Yeah, slowing it down, just letting these projectiles whip. Uh oh. I like I like the the, the patient play. It's, it's slowing down a little bit, right? Yeah, Demarcus controlling the airspace with the air to air right now. Yeah, Salika's air normal is pretty strong, but you know, Teremy has one of the the better six days and kind of uh, catch that far, uh, super high up. Jumps. Yep, again, keeping a pretty slow uh -oh. pace, but baiting the DP. Gonna bring the energy back up. 100 meter. Throw counter, yeah. So Marcus mashing there, and you know, Celica's reversal is armored, not invincible, which means that it does lose the yes. throw. All right. Really good round there from DGF. Yeah, again, the slow play paying off here for DGF. Action. <laughs> nice. Going for that Fasar round start. You got a tech there. Otherwise, it gets 50 meter for free. Yeah, just a, you know, just a little bit extra meter off that drive. Off that right, snake no, bite. No more bursts from DeMarcus on this match. Oh, but... Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Celica's uh, air dash, you know, straight horizontal. Uh, JC isn't a uh, angled move, so that second hit did work. Oh, uh, he tried to go for the tech. Yep. No tech DGF there. DGF, DGF, DGF aware. Big O was able to wrap it, a, though. A, Connected a. the first hit. Uh, tried to go for something interesting. I'm not sure. All right. DGF just trying to not get hit by JD right now. Oh. Not that just yet. Fatal starter active flow providing a little extra bonus damage. But I think DTS has to find Mashing. here. Yes, the market is it. Mash. All right, we got the crowd on DGF side, apparently. Nobody likes the Marcus Cousins the fourth. I don't know why. Playing He's all the way from Japan, man. This is our last dependent Japanese player. Yeah. <laughs> DeMarcus Cousins here versus DGF going into this final game. Yeah. Playing some of the least appreciated characters in the cast. Lori does not like either of these characters. Very nice. Yeah, got confirmed. Good poke there. DeMarcus Cousins is putting out the stop sign in neutral. 
<laughs> Frame trap, yep. Nice tech throw. The tech there again, DC. Oh, big super jump. Just try to, you know, reset to the center uh -oh. screen. Get yeah, out that's of the an air hit from 6B. That's a full uh, confirm. Uh oh, drops it. Oh, Demarcus Cousin. No, DGS just getting away because, like, I know you're going to cross up. I don't want to do that. Don't yeah, there it is. Corner. A. Send him to the corner. Oh, but this. Uh oh. Oh, no, no. Come on. Here we go. A, A, A. Building this bar like crazy. No. DeMarcus Cousins. DeMarcus is crazy. What is there to say about DeMarcus Cousins? This player. He just, that is the dumbest wake up. And it always works. I don't understand why. Look, you got to get He's in his hit. head. You got to get counter hit on wake up a few times. Those are just the building blocks to create that situation. Do you something somehow, dumb You somehow times. win from that. You know, they say if you bait the purse 100 times and it doesn't work 99% of the time, that 1% is going to feel even better. It's like that that uh, the dude mining for gold, you know? Yeah. Don't stop until it works. Yeah, you just got to keep gambling. You shout out to Evo. You just got to keep gambling. Stay at the tables. You'll win next round for sure. Okay. Blowing it down. Open with the 5 to get DTF, you know, never being the player who's trying to force the way. the corner. In. All right, first into the corner. DeMarcus still has his burst left. Okay, yep. Using the RC to extend the combo. Gonna get a lot of them new to bat. Big DP! Oh, oh. Using that blue life, they're enhancing the DP, making it hit harder and faster. And that's just DGF just rocking the neutral jump, neutral here. Just holding your. That's my neutral. Uh oh, getting caught. Oh, starter here, overdrive available. Demarcus Cousins, will they punch that ticket? Continuing yep. on in there this bracket. A, A. Yeah, overdrive power distortion, very high Can't damage, yet. but a chance here for DGS. A sliver of life tries and to sneak it. in. Demarcus Cousins, the fourth. Living on in the bracket, oh, taking it over DGF. That's the first time I've seen DGF crack a smile. <laughs> The joy of playing Blaze Blue at the top, but making top eight. Who is, who is like this a, unknown look at player? That smile, look at that smile and then lock in, close up. <laughs> <laughs> who is look, this unknown Celica? Man? Look at those pearly whites. CGF's having a great time. We're rocking out here. Hell yeah. This loser's bracket is great. We got sharks and we got DeMarcus. <laughs> <laughs> and DeMarcus eats sharks. Apparently, that's, that's like, apparently, you know, he's been beat. He's beaten DGF. He's beaten Yuri. Who else is in his war path? We got to find out in this next match. We got Days versus Bad Lime coming up. And with the winner getting the esteemed privilege of playing DeMarcus on the loser side. <laughs> the esteemed privilege of playing yes. against the only foreign player in this tournament. <laughs> the ability to roll dice against Celica. Nah, it looks like it's going to be Kairos back up. Yo, I'm right, because uh, cause Days lost to Kairos. That's yes. why Kairos is on the setup. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, you know, Kairos versus Bad Lime. Uh, you know, Bad Lime does have a pocket Hosma as well. I'm wondering what character he's going to pick in this uh <laughs> In this matchup, I feel like Subaki's pretty good. Uh, might do a mirror mesh, who knows? But Rachel's also an option here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hazama, you know, has excellent mobility until those chains run out. But again, still that mobility can be a little linear. You can set up very well as Rachel to kind of cover those common approach options from Hazama. Get rid of those dude. There's mad dual shocks on the stream setup. Oh my gosh. Bad Lime, thank you. There's too many uh, pad players in this top eight. Yeah. Oh, here we go. The yep. Bad Lime oh, Rachel. I see some pretty decent stuff from Bad Lime's Rachel, but you know, uh, looks like he's gonna pick the. Uh, Never mind. Yeah, he's gonna pick the the you know the comfortable. Match. Yeah. What bad lines known for the you know the main gotta stick with her. Yeah, I, I mean, 
it is nice having a good run speed against Hazama, because in those situations when, where Hazama just has to land and play defense while the chains come back, being able to cover that distance faster, be able to threaten Hazama early is very helpful. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. But you got to navigate the uh, minefield that is the chains first. Uh, yeah. That neutral is definitely very hard to catch that Hazama player. Rebel Let's one. see what that round start is. Action. Up back. Oh, up four. Both players taken to the air. And a common round start here in Central Fiction. Barrier blocking in the air is a very safe option. All right, 2.4K gets the knockdown. OD right away. And no fear yeah, in this it, dojo. It's so meaty that that ODR is going to be minus. So the only thing Kairos is worried about there is EA if Kairos presses again. Yeah, honestly, not, not a terrible... Uh, outcome for bad line right there because he did get a lot of stocks. Yeah, Tsubaki with a resource overdrive, meaning as long as overdrive is active, she is gaining those stocks. Unfortunately, uh, not looking too good for bad line. Very dominating performance for Kairos right now. Oh, you know, one hope, but I mean, this perfect seems imminent. Yeah, that chain gonna finish it off. Yeah, bad line just uh. I, I like the overdrive situation, and whoa! What a, you know, entering stance there on round start. Very bold and paying off here for Cairo. And, you know, we saw, you know, jumping on round start. That's what Madline has been showing. So Cairo's choosing an option that beats the forward. Nice, wake up OD. There's a lot of time on it. Builds five stocks. Right away. Oh, we got cash to burn here, Badline. Oh, but Kairos just able to fuzzy jump out. Badline going a little deep on that dash, leaving enough frames for Kairos to jump. Yeah, tries to do that preemptive jump he to try to catch something, but you know, the chains have no hurt box. Whoa! Oh. This is an incredible confirm from Kairos. Uh -oh. oh, but no, no oak there. Yeah, bad lines is kind of getting caught. No burst, but still tons of bar, tons of stocks, and a JB there from Kairos to finish it off. Yeah, that was demanding from Kairos right there. He was just he he found bad lime in every situation. All right, bad lime thinking on the rematch screen, and again, this could be a character swap consideration. We did see the Rachel hovered before. I think that Shibaki is fine in this matchup. It's just he needs to tighten up his uh, game plan a little bit better. Is this kind of getting counter hit on uh, a lot of situations? Level Maybe needs one. to uh, move in a uh, better position. Okay, Whip nice. there will get punished by the OD. All right, confirm. And Tsubaki linking to OD early. Stocks are built now, has that one available. Standing yeah, overhead. Drop, drop the knowledge on him. Hey, A. Stop the combo. Still has some, uh, some chains left. Kairos using the movement there in order to bat, force Badline into the corner. Ooh. He dashed forward, down bat. And I mean, Badline with those stocks available, DP becomes a lot more appealing. Tsubaki, if he spends the stocks, it can be canceled on whip. Yes. One chain. Every time you get hit by that chain, though, it does come back. So you gotta be noticed, you gotta be mindful of uh, how you're really approaching. All right, Hungry Coil's reset going to be blocked here by yeah. Madline. Sneaking up, so not only was that an ant here, but it was the ant here that was crossing you up. Is he death? Super? Yep. Right there, 5.2k damage, you know, that's... Tsubaki's a big girl. Iris dying with a full stick of butter there, unable to spend it. Honestly, in that situation, it's just like, yeah, okay, I, I, I messed up. I'll play better as next time. I'll have all of my resources. Command throw. Oh. It's not get a ton of damage off of this, but a good option getting past the block as well. Encourages bad line to up back and pressure more. Worried about that. Yeah, adds, adds a little bit more to the mental effect. Ooh, reset. Okay, banana, banana. Soup. <laughs> drops knowledge on him. All right, banana or sorry, Madeline cleaning it up here, catching the back deck, but not able to confirm. Oh, yeah, the reset. Everyone's taking every opportunity, building the bar here. This should be death after the hungry coils. No 
low drops on this, is it? All right, that one's kind of cleaned it up here. Uh, Both Badline, of these players do have burst available, though. Badline was looking for kind of like an air grab on ground start earlier. You're just going for the jump again here. Uh -oh. Playing it safe here and potentially this final round for Badline. Yeah, use the, uh, the burst for the overdrive stock. And, you know, like, dropping the knowledge has gotten great mileage here for Badline. Point nice. for it again, but this OD guarantees yeah, a punch. Yeah, gets the side switch as well. Tries to go for the reset. <laughs> nice block. And good on Kairos uh -oh. as well. Hit confirming the ho tension. If Kairos had just mashed it out there, that would just may have been game for bad line. Nice. Plus out the back there. Just on the throw. Bananas. Final setup here, potentially. <laughs> yeah, trying to bait a, a, a guard cancel or something. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, opened up low. That line is going to get his uh, burst back. Wake up, OD. Yeah. One hit away. Getting the stocks, getting the knowledge. Uh -oh. oh, but the rapid not. Oh. Okay. What happened there from Badline? Had I don't... stocks, had meter, and didn't cancel oh, the TT. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. But, you know, sometimes that stuff happens. Yeah, high stakes situation here. It looks like uh, Kairos will be moving on in that loser's bracket. Getting the joy to play against Demarcus here on the loser side. Yes, exactly. But I think we're going to be going to our winner's side uh, first. Uh, so we're going to have Monarch. Uh, Going up against Ice Cool. Yes, exactly. And we've seen Monarch play against uh, many a Susano player. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, we've also seen Ice Cool play against many of S player and uh, the pool play. But, you know, both of these guys are the one of the masters for the respective characters. So we're going to see a next level of, uh, like, a mental stack, a mind game between both these players because these guys have impeccable defense. So you're going to need to find ways to really open up uh, each other in ways that aren't very, how do you say, uh, conventional. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we saw, you know, Ice Cool dealing it with b before with DGF on yep. the more defensive play style. That's going to be double, triple versus Monarch, especially in a longer set. It can kind of exhaust you there to rotate your offensive options against someone who seems to be able to block as effortly as Monarch does. Ice School is going to have to stay focused this whole time. I mean, Ice School is no joke about that blocking as well. Like, he's, we've seen that very patient play style from him as well. Yeah. And honestly, you know, rotating your defensive options in this version is also very strong. You know, yeah. you, know you, got, you have the, the threat of the uh, reaction overdrive to C buttons or yeah. overheads. You also have, uh, you know, counter Select assault is a very character. big one. Yeah, you can block barriers. Very, very strong. You see a lot of stagger pressure in Blaze Blue specifically, and that is because overdrive on defense is vicious, and messing up and guessing wrong against it does so much damage. You go for an overhead and they ODR through it, you're eating like 5, 4, K, easy. And they're putting themselves in active flow. Yeah, getting active flow. Getting, you know, and getting overdrive back again. So you have to deal with that once again on defense. I mean, it's just like um, if, if Ragnar does 5B5C and you overdrive during the 5B and he has 5C whips, that's, that's going to be a big damage. Yeah. I wonder if this is a button check. I believe it's a button check, right? It's a button check here. Level one. We'll see we'll if see. we get mixed. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah button good. check here. <laughs> All right, yeah, Monarch. You know, S is definitely the, the best option here. This character has incredible range, and her buttons are still very fast for the distance that they cover. Yes. Uh, the big thing for S, though, is even though her buttons do care, uh, yeah. Just kidding, we're not talking about S anymore, we're Yo, talking we're about Lambda. High right <laughs> school says, oh man. Oh, the big, yeah, high school's smiling and nodding and shaking his head. Here we go. I've seen this matchup a million times before. How dare you? Yeah, here, here are the pad players in question right now. High school versus Monarch, both on pad. Yeah, you know, Blaze Blue is a, a very peripheral friendly game. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, there's some stuff that is very hard to do on pad, but also a lot of stuff that is very easy to do on pad. Pat can also break your hand sometimes. Shots out the SKD. Oof. Here we go. The battle of defense here. Both of these players known for their incredible active defense. Monarch especially known to be unbreakable. Let's see it. And the heart, yeah, and they, like I was talking about before with Overdrive being so strong on defense, what makes Monarch so powerful is that blocks everything, techs all your throws, and you're like, oh, well, I gotta do something. Let me at least try an overhead. Let me do something yeah. to keep the pressure up. And Monarch just oh, overdrives, God. and it's like, well, now I lose. So the, the craziest thing, right, is Monarch is not option selecting half of the time. Yeah. He's just blocking. Okay, slow start here. Monarch controlling he has his a gun. distance perfectly. He has a gun. Raining here. You try to use the spike chaser just to destroy that projectile. Now, and additionally, set if you're able to set up spike chaser, ice core kind of doesn't have an option to get in. Any run will be into that chaser. It's going to catch an ice. And we were talking about how Susano doesn't have that uh, ex uh, automatic acceleration on that. He has the you know, three running for a certain amount of time before he can uh, really accelerate to that speed. Yes, and this is one, yes, of the, gone. one of those matchups where that really comes into effect. Susano not able to dash block as well as other characters. All right, and like we were expecting, slow and steady here with Monarch winning many interactions. Wow, this is the catch. Game. That feels off. Like, Ice Cold's like, I character. guessed right. Yeah, was I didn't air character. that, and I lost to that. Tall characters, and still tall characters. Uh, trying to go for the TRM. Yeah. Maybe top for a second. Nice, oh, yeah, pulls it out. Uh-oh. Not able to convert, though. All right. Now let's rip. Yeah, Odie through the 5C there. Guaranteed EA punish there. High school now an active flow. Going to start building this overdrive back. Oh, just hit low. Good eye to this here. Oh. No. That 2-2-E two, two is invincible on startup. And you, know, you get great damage on counter hit, but we already saw Ice Pool calling it out, so the answer is definitely there. Flow, <laughs> methodical play. Oh, oh. beats it out. Doesn't block the overhead. Yeah, Forgy there connecting. Ah, uh, doesn't block the overhead again. Overhead success rate is very high. All right. Demanding match from Monarch yep. over Ice Pool right now in that first. When people think of anime fighting games, they think of the hair, but Monarch is the tortoise, slow and steady, defeating Ice Cool by inches here, as well as many standing overheads. <laughs> oh, wow, this round star, 5D. Really burst Monarch, but none of that. Mon Monarch yeah, he's a character, or a player who I feel like early bursts pretty frequently. I mean, with this character, I don't blame him. Yeah. You know, has really good options in this useful and does not want to kind of like start off on the wrong foot, start off in the corner. Yeah. Unfortunately, it unlocks God Press. Uh, one, of, one of those moves uh, that could be really hard to uh, hold the mind. High school again, a player who shows the crush trigger very often and has a lot of seals unlocked at this point. DP sword. Oh wow, four, four B. Level two tackle, level three tackle. That's just give off to a lot of extensions, but those are all going away at the end of this round when high school kills with this. <laughs> Interesting, four uh, B right there. I wonder if that was a misinput. Could it what you could. Rebel yeah. two, action. An attempt there, and you know maybe trying to return to neutral after blocking and pressing a little bit too early. Pretty common with buttons that are on the floor input. Oh, wow, getting tagged by the spike paper. Pretty good damage. 
Merck well situated here, though. Head as well. Oh, oh. Yep. nice routing. They hear so many overheads and Modern working on a perfect gear. It's like high school uh, just could off not, screen overhead. Uh, oh. I, no, high school is blocking a lot, especially on wake up, but it's like that the defense Three. is not active in a way that like wins you the game. Like the IVs are good. Ice school is showing, you know, something here. I mean, Ice school, of course, knows how to play defense very well. But I mean, like, does all this blocking, this instant IV, and then is still in the corner at the end of it. Monarch just able to control this whole space. Yeah, and using that 6A to try to, like, break one of these 5Ds, try to mess up the timing a little bit. Another overhead connecting. And it's it's so good they're whipping the spike chaser right in front of Ice school's face. It's not frame advantage, but Ice School can't do it. Ice School just forced to sit there and take mix up or and take pressure after pressure. There we go. Ice School with the overdrive. Okay, Burser does not want Ice School on blocking any more seals. Sand kick is enough. Yeah, but that grabbing well on top of a uh, Susan overdrive. It's annoying. He has a gun. Okay. Yeah, counter hit 6A, great option. Oh, wow. Whoa! Yes, e even Monarch can't block that. Momentum time. No tech, they're going to get punished for full damage your Ice School. Far as more. A, A. Oh! Interesting, but it just killed. Yeah, that did not have to drop their yeah. meter, you know, 50 right. bar on deck for ice school. We'll we take got a little a bit of time to, to think about the match. Come you know, Grandma always says, if the super is going to kill, why did you drop the super? <laughs> what are you saving the, the bar for? Disturning. You don't Rebel take it with you. One. And I... <clears throat> or Kubo back to action. Like, high school... The Susano struggling so much in this matchup. The slow acceleration, the dash speed is not... A, I mean, running forward there. I mean, you had to say something. Yeah, high school is like, I heard you, Deadward. I'm going in. Unfortunately, puts himself in the corner now. Yeah. Thankfully, uh, Lambda is not known for a crazy amount of damage. But I'm at, trigger. It doesn't matter how much damage you're doing if Ice School is just unable to escape the situation. No block on our old right. Uh oh. Oh, whiff grab there on the OG is yes, going to be very punishable. Gotta unlock some moves. There we go. God press. Oh, catching the roll. Can't finish off of it though. All right, counter assault's out. Get me out of here. This is where Ice School is looking for the 6A, trying to get a counter hit. That knockdown is so important. Sword counter hit that ground bounce or wall bounce is going to be enough for Ice School. I'm surprised that came out so bad. 5D counter hit. Unfortunately, that's all she got. All right, corner now. What's up, Yoki? Overhead. Success rate is so high against Ice School. Did it show the exclamation mark there, which comes up when you're blocking low well and get, getting hit with the overhead? So I think Ice School trying to jump out there and getting caught. All right. Oh! all of it. He needs it. Spending the bar for every special move, but Monarch able to block it out so far. Very nice. Overhead, Venice. It doesn't matter how many uh, how, how many skills you have unlocked if you can't use them. No, Monarch, I mean, just showing the oppressive screen control this whole match. Ice School really struggling to move, just does not want to deal with it. Wake up overdrive, but Monarch brave, pressing into it. No fear of the day. Again, the, the run up plus trigger. 
Firm here, set up the wheel. Monarch, huge life lead. Good positioning. Back wow, dash. Back dash. Very surprising how that actually uh, made it so the uh, the fourth whip. I was trying to pick at the pace with the IED, but you know, Monarch ready with the retreating. JC putting a stop to that, even with the rapid ice school, still able to mash out his time post. Oh, unfortunate drop. Doesn't get to unlock what uh, uh, Moose wanted. There's lots of and they're bursting just to try and stop a few more seals. But not, not instantly tapping. They're allowing Ice School to cover a lot more distance bar to spend. Not able to kill. Really bad drop here for Ice School. But keep the momentum. Yeah, TRM. Second Astral of the top eight. Addicted to the Astral here. Ice School now taking the lead against Monarch. It's Honestly, dude. Jeez. This is it's it's stressful it's for uh, yeah. for Monarch. It's it's hard, you know. You're 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 kind of like just picking up scraps for damage. Mm -hmm. uh, you're you're relying on your defense a lot, and it's just like yo, uh, your character. It's hard. Yeah, and Ice Cool so patient, you know, not overextending, and you're just down backing so much in this matchup. And you know, once you get that one situation, doing the most with it. Ice school is on top of it. All right, going to the S pick. A little stretch here, smiling at the S pick. Right, oh. This, this match was hard for Susan, though, man. Yeah. <laughs> going and, from a, a pretty okay matchup to a matchup that is not okay, you know? A lot of situations where asking this kind of bully uh, Susan just because of how tall he is. Yeah, and I, that instant overhead, of course, from S so much to deal with, but also like Susano is so big and the acceleration so slow that S projectiles are kind of just set it and forget it. Like Monarch can control so much of neutral without risking a lot. But Ice Cool has already gotten into this rhythm, ready to down back, ready to take the small opportunities that Monarch will provide. It's all about the patience here. Rebel one. Here we go, the switch from Monarch, Ice Cool taking the lead. Real slow right now. We're trying to feel each other out. Trying to commit to the run there. Expecting Monarch to try and cover an air approach. All the way to the corner. Watch the setup. The opportunity oh, wow. reset there. Monarch getting full damage. Big damage. All right, spend the butter. Oh, big ODR. Has to be able. We'll get this active flow. Overdrive coming back. Lots of dash blocks right now from high school. As well. You know, air dashing in, trying to, you know, fake the approach and then air dash back. Nice block. Oh, can't block forever. Crushed for as well. Yeah, and I mean, Monarch is using a good option there. Had to cross up in order to get the mix up, but once that happened, like, I'm going to try and cross up again ASAP because I do not want to quarter myself against Susano. Just throwing out these slow fireballs. And wow, I think that was a chip out. Chip Same out, potentially person. catching the movement Rebel there. Two, action, yes! Nice cool, again, really Shit. slowing it down. Still no 6A attempts. I don't blame him, you know, one bad 6A and S is 6A. Yeah. Shit. Right, he is out. You know, get these good ODRs, but at the end of the day, you're only getting EA, only 2,000. Okay. No tech setup. Oh! Okay. Challenging that seal there after the back dash. Ballard not expecting it. High school staying unpredictable. Excellent to see there. Yeah, reading those uh those jumps that you see. <laughs> yeah, Monarch Ooh. trying to Whoa! Very patient there on that overhead and high school now around away and at overdrive advantage here. 
Monarch should be able to grab his uh, burst back in this match as well. High school is working so hard right now. The patience and the focus right now is immaculate. This, these are not how Susan games are supposed to go. You're not supposed to have only tackle unlocks for 80% of the game. And yet Ice Cream hey, is there's time. To... There's time. <laughs> now he's got two. Yeah. Got a DP. And now uh, Monarch is dying. Okay. Me. Stagger pressure. Hard to tell with the life lead, with the life bars right now. How I can kill on the next hit. Oh! Now Monarch Overdrive available to lock out burst and guarantee the kill on the next hit. Uh oh. Now building overdrive your ice school. We've got it, but it won't be enough. Both these players on one hit situation. The first mate and Monarch sent to losers here by ice school after the 3 1. The patience from ice school to weather all this zoning. Honestly, from like Lambda. It, remember what I said, you know, the king bleeds. Yeah, so yeah the king, the king does bleed. But it looks like uh, now Monarch is thrust into this uh, shark pool that is losers bracket. Yeah. And I feel sorry for anybody that has to play against them. <laughs> he, 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 it's, he plays such an awkward um, game plan, right? A, yeah. a lot of people in, in the Blazeman community want to play fast. They, yeah. they want to like, do the thing that they're good at. And Monarch almost has it down to a science where he's just like, I'm going to slow this game down. I'm going to make you fall asleep. Yeah. I want to make you try to fall asleep. It's, it's, it's frustrating to play against somebody that just like, does nothing the entire game and all of a sudden you just die. Yeah. And you do, you try so hard on offense. You do mix-ups that have opened up hundreds of people before <laughs> that work like 90% of the time, and Monarch blocks it first try, and it's like, where's the, like, I'm getting, Where get, did I'm, you see this? <laughs> I'm trying to get in, and for what? <laughs> to be blocked for 20 seconds? I, I and didn't then, buy this game so people could block. <laughs> no. But stop it. Now we got Kairos versus DeMarcus Cousins the fourth. I wonder how he will tame this wild gorilla. <laughs> Kyro, will Kairos be the one to defeat Demarcus? It's um, Demarcus's path to glory, blocked by one of the best players that has uh, played Cosma. I think I think Kairos has the game plan here, right? The character pick. If I'm Hazama and I'm always above you, I can't get hit by JD. That is true. That's that's been Demarcus's claim to fame tonight. That JD has been putting in the work, but at the same time, you know, there's more than just the JD you have Silicon to look for with this all. Mercury. Her air buttons are phenomenal. Her jump C, crazy horizontal hitbox. Also, she has a different dive kick. Yeah, I, that, I we've been seeing that from Demarcus a lot, where the neutral is just neutral jump JC, just controlling that yeah, space. Yeah, super jump JC, neutral jump JC. Uh, throw out a random 6B the every now and then, and then if I have uh, enhanced, one. I'm just gonna throw out an armored special. You. You. Again, a lot of mileage yeah. off of that overhead Moving here to Marcus Cousins the floor. Real slow, okay. Oh. But to Marcus turning up the Jets using that dive kick to force the way in. Dive kick, once again, getting tagged. Hey, hey, all the way to the corner. Well, this did not let DeMarcus get set off. The offense has been too much for everyone today. Yeah, the 6B. All overhead. Big counter hit. Yeah, not, not what you want to see when you're playing against, uh, when you're playing hot. You're just stuck in this corner against hot. Finish it up there. Yeah, get, doing the loops. Saw some really awkward neutral at the start there. Both players just kind of faking out. Lots of barrier, like after a Oh, wow, jump. yeah, the 16. Just going to be like, am I going to chain? Am I going to dive kick? Really good. Yeah, instantly burst out. He doesn't want to deal with that corner anymore. The damage here. You let DeMarcus have overdrive and your demise here. 
Yeah, I'm just playing this match for very, very good. Yep. Oh! The classic. DeMarcus bringing out all the gimmicks from this top eight. These are Nationals gimmicks. DeMarcus invaluable, barely losing any life those two rounds and destroying Kairos. Yeah, very demanding uh, the wheel match of there from, Ky uh, from DeMarcus. Rebel Kairos one. looks a little lost, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely has, uh, probably has not seen the characters, but hey. Oh. Calling out DeMarcus trying to move underneath for an anterior attempt, going with that down chain instead, Kairos. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe having a read on Demarcus's movement here. Nice. That team says, I don't need to block it if I'm not there. Oh my Whoa. God, wake up 5D once again. Okay, Whoa. Demarcus reading the back. I mean, do you think that was reading the back dash? Or do you think Demarcus yeah, that was wanted a, that overhead? Yeah, that was a delayed overhead. So, yeah. no, whatever option, it's like, hey, if you block it, hey, good on you. If you back dash, hey, bad on you. Oh, oh, Hungry Quail's whiffing, but no punish there. That move has a lot of recovery. Oh, oh. that's a counter hit. Drive sequences from DeMarcus Cousins, the Celica Believer. Oh my god, the 6A, and that pick up well. DeMarcus Cousins, one round away from advancing and having to play against Monarch. Looking at maybe the fastest match in this top eight so far. But so many matches of, you know, oh, defense. Wow. I'm going to slow my game down. I'm playing. You know, the long game. No. Meanwhile, DeMarcus, DeMarcus Cousins. DeMarcus, he's, he wants to scramble, baby. DeMarcus Cousins has the blaze blue soul. There's too many too many top players with good defense, good defensive habits. DeMarcus Cousins is the soul of blaze blue central victim. <laughs> nice change to, to beat out that bad pick. Oh, no. Here we go. So this time, many times before. I wasn't expecting the... Uh, Able to... Sneaking in while Kairos was out of chains there, DeMarcus. Oh my god. They gotta delete this JD, this JD from the game. What is Oh, nice. Happening? Yes. Good Does barrier. Not fall for the, uh, the gimmick right there. All right, DeMarcus Cousins one hit away. Uh oh. And any hit now will do there it. There we go, the hospital special. Do not put hey. Kairos in the grave just net yet. Not over till it's over. Nice. Smart. Smart. Oh! Yep. I don't need to deal with it if I got an upward projectile. The second I saw DeMarcus check out, I knew the JD was coming. You know, Kairos, you know, being one of the first players to show an answer to the Celica. Plus him through that armor as well. We did see a DPF uh, throwing it a few times yes. as well. Nice. Uh oh. Yep, just activating the air. Getting guaranteed damage. We need active flow. Come back. Has a little blue light here, so can't get some pants. Hey, hey. Hey. Don't force back. Check it out. Nice block of the overhead. Gets out of there. We're out. Oh, air throw not connecting there. Oh, doesn't block the overhead. DeMarcus Cousins not known for his reaction. DeMarcus Cousins is the one who wants to be pressing the overheads, not the one blocked. It's okay. You know, DeMarcus has his burst back. Immediately spends it because he gets in. Oh, we're going for the JD immediately. Good tech there by Kairos, the awareness. One chain left. Yeah. I'm trying to slow the pace down, but spins it. Uh oh. And Demarcus is in. We'll see a burst from Kairos, unless Kairos is like, I'm not going to die. I'm getting that eight second overdrive. Here we go, eight seconds. Oh! On the. I like it. I like All that right. RPS situation. Demarcus Cousins. Three strong rounds, and now Kairos is woken up. Kairos is ready to go. I've had enough of this Celica. I'm adapting to Marcus Cousins. The wheel of Your days are numbered. Rebel one. Yeah, it feels like uh, Kairos is kind of understanding uh, more of how Marcus wants to play, right? Yeah. Ooh, there it is, the air throw. 
we've been seeing a lot of down chains from Iros, you know, trying to cover Demarcus's movement, knowing that Demarcus Cousins the fourth is such an aggressive player that he's always going in. Oh, nice. Keeps him in the corner. Falcon just came out. Uh oh, no change. No punish. All right, very aggressive. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna kill you. And no super, no not. Oh, yeah, very good, very good. Perfect from Kairos right there. Good bait there, and you know, Celica reversal can be a little telegraph. Once Demarcus to needs your energy with the perfect help. Demarcus, Demarcus gang, Celica fans. Nice. Demarcus has got to get this dub here against Kairos. Again, the soul of Blaze Blue. This is how you want to be playing. This is what this yep. game is all about. Disgusting offense, standing overheads. Demarcus embodies the Blaze Blue Central Fiction soul. Hey, hey. Oh, it doesn't block the overhead. I think he tried to reaction overdrive that, but a little bit too late. Going to be in a big resource deficit now. They're at zero overdrive. Hype kick not connecting there, the good chain follow up. Ran an overhead. Ooh, big. Active flow, bonus damage, bar to spend. Yeah. Oh, but to mark yeah, the Yeah, trying to go for the gimmick right enough. there. Yeah. Trying to go into this half under. Ooh, the changey. And you know, Hasama 5A, good anti air, but it's not enough. The JD from Demarcus Cousins is better. Yeah, it delays her uh, falling descent just a little bit. You know, 5A is really good as an anti air, but if you delay your air, uh, your, your air fall, it's going to be uh, not as easy. Chicken blocking the stance here, does not want to deal with the high low, using that chicken block to kind of avoid the big. Oh, big. Huge damage right here. Was able to keep the corner positioning as well as put up a big 3.7k. But check there by Demarcus Cousins and into the air dash. Demarcus getting the offensive going. Hey, hey. Oh! Finally, Demarcus Cousins yep. exposed. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. Kairos is going for that uh, that reset a little bit too much, I feel. Yeah. Oh, let's pull out. Costing a lot of damage here, as well as the end of 5A anti air beating the JD this time. Out of coiled right now. Uh oh. This is huge. Big starter. Not that just yet. Yeah, one more mix up. Counter assault available. Ah! Going for the overhead. Rapid. I'm not hit confirming Hotengen at this point. I'm keeping it consistent. Kairos defeating the menace, the Celica Goat Demarcus Cousin. Demarcus, very strong showing. First tournament back in America. Good run, but unfortunately falls to Kairos. The American Blaze Blue Soul lives on. <laughs> in Hazama. And Monarch coming back to the stage here. Going to be facing off against Kairos in this Losers Finals. Character. Going back to our longer sets here in the finals. <laughs> More methodical play. Yeah. But it, uh, what a run from DeMarcus what a rush. Cousins. Every time DeMarcus is on the, the stream, it's just, man, what a rush. Yeah. What What is this guy going to do next? He's going to wake up 5D again. He's going to do an overhead and pressure. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, really good reads from uh, both of those players, though. Uh, Kairos is kind of reeling in to Marcus. It's like, hey, you're playing a little bit too wild for me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really win. Yeah, and I mean, you know, willing to put the chips on the table, pull, go all in on some of these pressure resets that DeMarcus is going for. That overdrive through the standing overhead was such a good yeah, option Yeah, that, that was by what Kairos. you needed to do. Yeah. That is definitely what you needed to do. I Unfortunately, mean, trying to go for the, uh, the, the cheeky reset with Osmo. Yeah, yeah. Giving DeMarcus an option back into the game. But in the end, you know, Kairos going to take it. Going on to losers Lambda finals. 11. You know, this this is guaranteed third year, but you don't want to go out at third. You want even more. All right, looks like it's gonna be Lambda versus Hoffman. This matchup 
kind of difficult for Lambda. I've said that multiple times, but, you know, Monarch does what Monarch wants to do. Letting the intros rock here. Losers finals coming to the twilight of this top eight here at Frosty Crossing 6. Oh, here we go. I just want to see when you're uh, playing this, when you're playing as Lambda. Yeah, counter, counter hit chain startup will get full corner carry. Setting Kairos up here for a great round. Out of No change yet. Oh, he's kidding. No danger boost there from Kairos, giving up all the chains and allowing Monarch to dash out of the corner. No, 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 Six to twelve. Yeah, gotta look out for that now. Tyra's doing a lot of barrier block there, trying to put Monarch out, and Monarch picking up on the habit there, going in deep for the throw. Nice. You see Monarch just kind of uh, backing away, waiting for uh, Tyra to make a move. Yeah, keeping it very reactive, just kind of slowly backing up into your optimal range, waiting for Kairos to so oh, wow, attack by that jump on it. Nice block. Ooh, Ooh. Yeah, catches that uh, special. Yeah, that 2-2-D, two -two invincible at the start, but it doesn't keep that invincibility for long. You go some it with a lot of forward advancing moves like that. Damn it. No. Right. 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 Now. Double jump just escaped the corner, but with no chains right now. And Monarch able to actually swap sides there. Ooh. That is not what you'd like to see when you're Osmo. You pop that overdrive. Expect me to get your left back, take your turn. Nice, I like that. So lay low after the overdrive again. So, yep. yeah, that's the overdrive there. We'll not build the bar, but okay, that's a one game for Monarch, taking it 1-0 against Kairos, starting off on this loser's finals. And Kairos definitely showing matchup familiarity. Yeah, playing, I mean, it's, it's matchup fam familiarity, but also Rebel Monarch is just one. playing at a range Action. where it's, it's really awkward for uh, Kairos to fly and uh, throw out a lot of the things, right? Because it's, yeah. it's eating. It's eating a lot. It's uh, eating the chains and then also um, uh, tagging him in the, in the aftermath. Yeah, the, the duration of the, uh, the projectile is very good. Even when Kairos is walking in the air, you're just getting oh. jailed down. It's so difficult to deal with, especially when Monarch can set up the gravity well. All right, Arsene to try and sneak in here. I mean, that was a successful sneak. See? The expert. Oh, nice. Monarch tech. I love barrier uh, blocking so much. I put Monarch away. Just so uh, any of those overheads aren't connected. Oh, 6A there. Monarch expecting a deep dash oh, off that is. chain. Oh, there it is. TRM. Yeah. You know, it's normal to press the throw OS while jumping just in case an air grab happens to glitch you. Yep. And Monarch abusing that, hitting your barrier and then TRMing you, catching that OS. It's definitely uh, like higher level blades, right? Where you're, where you're trying to hit every OS that you're playing. Because the OS is a break with. Really, really strong. Yeah. Not just the Rotec Overdrive OS. It's incredibly powerful. Is he start or even Connor? Alright, the Latex. Yeah, there it is again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, that's hard, man. It's You can't burst. That was a uh, burst save at that point. Yeah, but me. No, hope maybe Monarch messes up. That's what you're hoping there for Kairos. Every time Monarch wins, he looks disappointed. I don't, I don't get it. Rebel What's going on? One. Action. And Monarch. Oh, okay. getting him. 
Yeah, I was trying to make that. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monarch is like, you're still OSing. All right, Pyro's finally stopping, able to tech all those purple throws. Nice man throw. Very Corner. close to this active flow right now. Nice couple routing. Oh, he's trying to ready to see it. Oh, backing away. Uh, dealing with the Monarch Overdrive, but a last minute mash there. Yeah, interesting choice with the 5v right there, actually. That's blocked. On space set up the grab as well. Super difficult for Kairos to move during that. Okay. 5D. Again, the poison. Overhead. Yeah, just going for those resets. That should be it. Good stuff from Kairos, showing that he is still alive. Yeah. Oh, round start. It's hard call out of there on the round start, and able to catch the 2 2 D. Kairos getting a lot of momentum here in a round up. This is Kairos' thing to take now. Unfortunately, no things uh, available now. Monarch going to switch up the corner position here, putting Kairos in the corner. Oh, Gotta feel like oh, a great day. Monarch now abusing this corner positioning. That's the late pack. Make sure you don't block that uh, spike station. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you're here, able to finally fuzzy jump out. Kairos oh, chasing down the 2 2 D, but not able to get any sort of punish. Very. Oh, 2 2 D once again. Oh, not quite able to finish. Kairos, yeah. No chain. Or no chain follow up. Now, Monarch just one round away from returning. To high school, getting to this grand finals. Ooh, nice. The starter, but no uh -oh. firm. Oh! <laughs> Didn't believe in the J there. Tried to get something a little extra. And get punished for it. And again, the perfect nice. chain placement right above the 5 2 but Monarch will regardless find the hit here. Oh, so Grab it well. One more time. Set up yeah. Good situation here. Final ODR here for Kairos, potentially of this tournament. Interesting interaction right there. With the active flow, Kairos' plan. Oh! I don't think he's dead just yet. Hungry yeah. Coils does not build 50 bar, and okay. Kairos taking a game here, and this is how the climb starts with a single step. I'm wondering what Monarch tried to do there in that situation, because that's always a, a meaty the after wheel of fate does, is uh, turning. Uh, 4 DD. Rebel, one. Action. I'm call out some oh, great oh, stuff there. Oh, Thinking Kairos was going for something tricky again. 2 2 Getting blown up here by Kairos. He got an antro. A little bit too high. Very high pace. No more chains. That drop allowing Monarch to escape the corner, set up this wall. Very slow, methodical play for both these players right now, just trying to feel each other out. The drive is exactly where Kairos wants to go back dash there, expecting Monarch to challenge the whole drive. Drops the combo though. No! Oh my god! He's leading him, man. He's noticing a lot of the up back uh, barrier. Yeah. Overhead. Kazuma's very inclined to try and up back if pressure gives you access to your change. Your best movement is from the air. And Monarch has been paying attention to the player habits. Knows that Cairo is always looking for a chance to take yep. the sky. The minimum damage on that super will take that for ground. 
Level Monarch two. on that match point. Oh, that's not what you'd like to hear. That counter noise. Especially when you're in hospital. You have some change left. Not in the gravity wall, blocking it out, but huge plus frames here. Kairos' barrier kind of disappears there. Yeah. Monarch picking up on it as well, going for the crush trigger to steal even more. Yep. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh. Excellent confirm here, Monarch. Oh, the four B. Uh -oh. Nice confirm. Gonna get the nice knockdown in the OP here. Oh, oh, and following it up with that. Yeah, getting the, uh, side swap as well. All right, last hit here from Kairos Monarch. Oh, just does a dance in front of him and it gets hit by the 4B. Good stuff from Monarch. That was so, giving Kairos something to look for and then just going for the standing overhead. That was brutal. That's, it's, 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 it's very hard when you see uh, a, a, a player of Monarch just kind of doing that little shuffle behind yeah. you and this is going right into an overhead. It's just kind of like how we're going right to ad breaks right now. And we're back at Frosty Fausting 16, Blaze Blue Central Fiction Top 8. In a short stint in the loser side, Monarch back in Grand Finals, facing Ice School once again. I've seen this story before, and I feel like we're going to watch a 30-minute grand final here. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a barn burner, folks. Get comfortable. This one's going to be tough. Both of these players showing the defensive prowess. That's both of their game plan. Do not get opened up. The big thing for, I think, Monarch, right, is he wants to control... Um, neutral, the defensive aspect, and just try not to get open up and capitalize off the mistakes. Uh, the thing for high school is he's rarely making any super high committal like uh, commitments to really let himself get open up. Yeah. So it's 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 this weird mental test between both these players. It's like, hey, when are you going to switch up your play style? Yeah. Are you going to switch up your play style? And if you are, I'm going to try to be ready for it. Who's going to change the rhythm first? And for both of them, it is so much patience. Ice cool, dealing with so many projectiles, space control for Monarch, every stage of the game. And you just have to be ready as Ice Cool. When can I find that counter hit 6A? When can I finally get an air dash in, a deep run, these offensive options to finally close the gap? Yeah. So we're going to have to see if uh, Monarch actually chooses to play. Uh, with Lambda, once yeah. again, or actually start off with the S. So that's that's the, the, the big question. S, I think, does a lot better against Suzano, but Lambda also controls space very well against uh, Suzano as well. The only unfortunate part is if he messes up once, that damage disparity really racks up because Lambda's not doing as much damage as Suzano, and if you're both playing the super defensively, who's going to win? You know, the guy that's doing more damage or the guy that's doing less damage? Yeah, so tough. And that's the other thing with the character pick is Ice Cool has already defeated both characters. So even then, it's not you're not showing something new. Ice Cool is locked in and ready to go. And look, look at the stakes here. Monarch defending the championship here. Frosty Fausting's 15 champion. Ready to cry and take six games here against Ice Cool to hey, return to the throne. Let's be honest. It was 15, 16, 17. <laughs> yeah. Reigning champion, Monarch versus Ice Cool, the challenger. But Ice Cool in that winner's side, we're going to have to need. And, and look at the player cams, right? So it's late here in the Midwest. The rest of the so ballroom so. has cleaned out, but we'll Blaze Blue, we are here. We're Rebels still sitting one. down. Ready to watch yeah, this I, grand final. I, I blame these defensive players. These dark defensive players. Nice. Blaze jump B. That's that kind of thing. Here we go. Here we go. This is the Lambda problem. You're going to open up Ice School three times here. 
still lube once high school gets in. Like we said before, you know, just very minuscule amounts of damage. Like this one's just hit, not a huge amount. You know, it's when Susan hits you, it's damn near 4,000 every time. Alright. Oh. Nice school. Not gonna get much off of that nice overdrive. Spot. And by giving up the overdrive, you're allowing Monarch to use that standing overhead like we saw before. Monarch not wanting to use it when you can get overdrive, and that might lose you the game. He's got a gun. Look, I just go every time just trying to find the perfect spot to put that 6 take because once it lands, high school is in. Hunter's out. Nice chase on that back there. Yeah, and able to cash out for big damage here, even on the A starter on a back stack. You know, weird hit there. Yeah, back off. Deal with his gravity well. High school getting two overdrives this round, but not getting much off them. Yeah, I mean, like 60 seconds there. 60 long seconds, round. really long. I mean, it's just like, how many hits was that for Lambda to kill uh, Susano right there, right? Because Susano oh, is pretty healthy boy. 1.6 damage every, uh, 2.6, 2.8 every hit is like, it's kind of measurable when you get touched. I, oh, my highest school threading the needle there only to get bursted immediately. But that just means you got to do it another time. Ice school is in. There we go, look at that damage. Grand oh, Viper oh. unlocked, allowing for this corner carry. Nice. Has to keep the offense up, stealing some burst. And nice. Has yeah. these be unlocked though? But sit, yes, you gotta be really brave to press 60 against no, Honor with damage. no meter. Oh. Yeah. Unfortunately, Gus sends uh, Lambda to the other side. Yeah, and look, every time, what is high school thinking here? Trying to sneak in that 6A. What movement option can I think that will make Monarch flinch? Yeah, gravity well. And, you know, Monarch needs to do something. There's 30 seconds left on the clock, and that, that, that health is spared. Yeah. Like I said. Oh, here we go. Potential timer scam. I mean, both of the life totals are going to be very close at this point. 20 seconds left on the clock. But look out. Both players with overdrive, meaning either player could freeze the clock whenever. Trying to bait the burst. Manual overdrive. there. Clock frozen. Ice cool. Every special move available. In this overdrive. But how do you open up Monarch? The answer is slowly, and the answer is not at all. Uh -oh. No confirm off the 5A. Four seconds remaining. High school has to make something happen. But Monarch undefeatable. This wall has no weakness. <laughs> he even blocked the fuzzy. I'd be so annoyed if I was high school. I'm like, no, I'd be, I'd be peeved. This mother. Rebel one. Action. Timing me out, I was winning. You know, round start here for Monarch, IED back, IED back. Nice, yeah. Reacts to the 5C. Hey. Monarch's excellent defense, just so you know, is not about blocking for a long time. It's about blocking and then finding the perfect opportunity. That seems like it shouldn't even be possible. Using that OG, high school's like, oh, I can press a C button in my block string. That should be fine, right? Nope, not Monarch ready with the ODR. Nice. I'm ready to go. People in the crowd kind of popping off. The, the crowd yelling like crazy right now. The community is here. Yep. This is this is our Wants tournament. To turn oh, guard crush on the sand kick here. You know, I honestly forgot that uh, guard crush. Yeah. Oh, what a stare down! Nice block. Both of these players are so patient in a game that is so fast. Maybe this is the way, man. This is the way. Monarch is saying, if six games is what it takes to be champion, I will take it. How do I break it down? Yes. All right. I'm trying to uh, beat on OS right there. Able to check here, uh -oh. Chaser. 
That's bait the burst. TUD. Oh, going through it. But the OD through Grand Viper, this long EA animation, gonna burn a lot of Ice Cool's OD. Sliding his way out of the corner. Gets the throw. Let's get that side switch. Yeah, Gravity Well gonna push super far to the corner here. Hey. More time. CD Spike Chaser. And Dash up 4B. Look, Monarch is only willing to go for the standing overhead when Ice Cool does not have overdrive. I don't blame him, you know. I don't want to die. That's the championship consistency. Monarch is like, I'm not even going to give you the chance to OD, yeah. ODR through, get a big punish, get all your seals. I'm not here to roll dice. I'm here to be professional. I'm here to win. The risk reward that Monarch is really doing is just, this is so phenomenal. And then as we say that, you know, he just runs up and does it. You know, why, yo, why not? The champion's also got to be unpredictable. And Monarch, you know, kind of spit in my face on that one, going for the standing overhead wall ice pool had OD. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you gotta keep them on your toes, right? <laughs> Two point one thousand damage, not much in the face of Sino, but already down half health. And it's so nice. Two two D taking you to the, your optimal space here, but Ice Cool now. Nice six A. Get back in that corner. And Monarch, like that was Ice Cool's opportunity, right? Finally had Monarchs back to the corner. That's your time to go in. But Monarch ready with the 6A anti air. All right, dashes out. I'd be so annoyed. I'm so annoyed. This is Monarch is what? Oh my! Yeah. Look, you, you've got to do crazy things to open this player up. Yeah, sometimes you gotta dance in their face and then kick sand in their eye. You know? Yeah, you gotta fight dirty, that's what it is. You gotta hit Monarch with a little dirty trick. Okay. <laughs> Counter assault, this stay is, in that corner. Look, this is, we, we saw the tweet from Elven Shadow, right? Ice Cool's best option here, start looking at Monarch's inputs. That's the only way. You gotta fight dirty. <laughs> And look, timer scam again, 13 seconds. Ice Cool can't even freeze the clock with overdrive here. Yeah, it's just to air guaranteed. Dash and, uh, you know, season a little bit too large on that air. And, the, you know, the reset seems imminent at this point. Monarch not showing any signs of weakness. Nice, yeah. Looks out. Ice Cool He's staggering trying. so many hits. The second 60, he comes out. Monarch ready with the mash. Oh, wow. This is going to be a pretty decent damage for Lambda. 4,000? 3.8. Goes for the charge chaser instead. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't know if this is going to kill this yet. Oh, I lied. No, that's that kills. And perhaps one of the most clinical resets in Blaze Blue history, we are back to both players and loser side. One first to three to decide it between Monarch and Ice Cool. You the know, maybe he heard me when I was like, yeah, this is gonna be a 30 minute final. <laughs> both of these players are just like staring off into space right now. The mental fatigue is adding up. They've been playing since 10 a.m. I don't blame them. You're you're so focused. This is the mental stack. This is a one-day tournament, man. Yeah. It's it's hard on everybody. It's hard on me. I'll, I'll give you the commentator trip, right? Mental stack, you can just say it, and everyone's like, that's a smart commentator. But this is like, you are genuinely being worn down by all the things you are thinking about right now. You are just zoned in the whole time. When is Monarch going to flip? When can I finally run in? If I'm realized, I just punch him. <laughs> the one option available, will Ice Cool take it? Physical assault. Hey, I'm down for it. I, we get to see we get to see a, a assault charge live on stream. <laughs> <laughs> and he won the tournament. Ice, but you know, ha being forced to spend the night in Lombard County Jail. <laughs> Lombard County Jail, Ice Cool. <laughs> All right, the it's a long set, it's a slow Rebel set, but one. this is what it takes. Action. This is what the upper echelons of this game look like. You know, slow, methodical, 
People say anime players, you know, they can't block. They oh, just press. trying to go for it. No wake up throw, but high school finally, you know, maybe Monarch was right to only standing overhead when high school had no overdrive. I mean, it seemed like the, the right Let's idea. Let's get some energy pop and roll caught. Gets the side switch. Every time, man. Yo, the crowd is on the side of high school. Just getting in here, the IAD. Monarch still has the uh, the burst available, though. Yeah, what? make sure you do not overextend into the OD here. High school backing off after the 6B. Even the plus rinse does not want to overextend. Oh, yeah, the fuzzy. Goes for the fuzzy, the high school. The crowd is going crazy for high school. Yeah, Monarch just holding on to that burst the entire time. Level two. All right, you've got to leverage it. So much of Monarch's defensive power comes from the threat of OT defense. Oh, wow. Oh, unlocking Grand Viper is super important. Makes high school's combos more consistent as well as the mash the out. Hey, like I said, the, the mental set. Sometimes the best, you know, the best defense is wake up 2A. They think that I'm playing like a coward, so I will show them. Oh, they will know. Uh-uh. Black Stringer extension, high school. Could have put Monarch in a one-hit situation with Bar. Uh oh, fades it. Fade, okay. This is a big turnaround from that grand finals reset. High school. Finding the opportunities here, these air dashes in on Monarch. Taking a little bit of time to reassess the situation. Both players are waiting on the rematch screen. Both of them need a moment before running back into it. Again, this is fatiguing. They've been playing since 10 a.m. I think Monarch just fell asleep. You know, Mon Monarch's a little, Did somebody check a little out power him? nap. Got to focus up. Somebody check on him. I think he fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Monarch, you good? Oh, okay, yeah. Little, oh, yeah. he woke up. He woke up. Here we go. <laughs> I don't Showing even... it to the wrong camera. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to ask Ice Cool what that said. The wheel of fate is turning. Yeah. Level and and one. people are excited. People are on their feet right now. We're the, this is a, a grinder grand finals, a slow one, a methodical one. Why would people the hype not... is still here. Wow, okay, another 4B when the uh, the overdrive was uh, available. This is for yeah, Monarch. Take, take some risks. <laughs> for Monarch, the title, the gravity well going to keep ice cold. Nice. Just about anything. Running forward. Kind of block. Block. Yeah, this instant block barriering him out. He's got a gun. It's kind of interesting. Using to unlock the Sonic spin instead of dashing in on the knockdown. Oh, he tried to go for the uh, TRM setup. Nice, 2C. Not much damage there, though. Backing off. Ice cool. Waiting for the 6A opportunity, trying to threaten at the IAD range. Using those blade strings to the best of his advantage. And again, th this is kind of the neutral mix of high school is trying to put Monarch in. Monarch wants to throw 5D against 6A, but wants to throw 6D against the air dash attempt from high nice, school. Nice, yeah, Big was waiting for it. But unfortunately, 19 seconds left on the clock, 17. Honestly, not terrible for Ice School because he's getting that uh, burst back. Yeah, oh, well, we need a hit into overdrive. Be enough to clean it up. No confirmed flush trigger blocked by Monarch. Oh, overdrive back. Block stock up, stopped on both sides, but only four seconds remaining once this stops Ice School. Can we find the hit? I hate this guy. <laughs> Monarch is an level two. Winning another match by timeout just from the pickle blocking. 5D round start. Beating out that uh, 5D from uh, high school. Nice, confirmed. Any amount of damage is good damage. 
What is the answer here? Ice school able to get past it. It's falling to the two C. So the three C there. Just listening to the crowd right now. It is a live cheer in this ballroom right now. <laughs> Every hit ice school gets being met with applause. Oh, wow. Okay, DPs. Circuit the momentum. On our close to active flow here. And they get this damage bonus as well, building overdrive. Oh, the 4B connecting. Media burst out. Oh, oh but what a run down. But Monarch able to cover the Try to beta burst. Three. Try to beta burst. Overhead once again. Can we get into the overdrive here to finish, or do we need one more mix? Spending the overdrive, this should be enough. Yep. Good stuff from Monarch, putting himself back on the board in this reset. Tying it up. Total game count right now, 4-1 for Monarch. I would never, like, if I were these players, I'd be like, I'd never want to play you in casual ever again. <laughs> I'm dodging high school with Monarch until the day I die. Nice, okay. CA. As much damage as possible. Uh, but the roll away, again, Monarch still establishing this this powerful distance where everything Ice School can try and do is reactable. Yeah, I feel like Monarch is fine with just taking that uh, EA. Yeah. Because it resets the neutral. No Oki off of it. You know, you, you take the 2000, but that's much less than Susano might do with an overdrive combo. Yeah, exactly. Oh. Oh, hit low. Okay. No DP unlocked, of course. Only defensive option here. Five second overdrive. Monarch immediately retreating. Raffi Woe gonna slow down the Grand Viper and beating it with 5G Monarch. Yeah, that, that was a desperation. Uh, Grand Viper right there. Fortunate to do it in the first round here. Now Ice School, you know, behind on overdrive, does not have that option on defense or to convert. Oh, 16. Once again, whiffs, good again. Can only get a corner swap, but we're going coast to coast no matter what. Nice, Micro Dash 2 8 for the, for the pickup. Honor getting closer and closer to active flow, getting this damage bonus. <laughs> Yeah, you can see that high school's not trying to uh, really option select. He knows that Monarch is looking for it. Yeah, he's able to find the anti air here. Monarch once again keeping the corner position and keeping this offensive situation, keeping it burst safe with the rapid yeah. and baiting. The burst thirst was real. 2 1 Monarch, very commanding. All right, potentially one game away here. And again, the crowd on the side of Ice Cool wants to see Ice Cool pull out another two games. These guys need to go to sleep. Everybody in the crowd needs to go to sleep. It's, it's way too damn late. Oh, it's past your bedtime, Blaze Blue community. Oh, telling Ice Cool to lock in. Lock in has been kind of the herald for disaster here. Yeah, Ice I don't think you want to lock in right now. Yeah. I think you need to play, play smart. Oh, yeah, she tried to do the air dash, but she's going a little bit too large. Yeah, air dash to the chaser. Monarch gets full corner confirmed and 3K. And what have been Ice Cool's answers here? Okay. It's just been so wait and wait and wait for an opportunity. Yeah, Monarch. Really? Oh, given the opportunity there, OD through the crush trigger, getting a super long OD, yeah. full unlock unlock. Everything is unlocked. Oh no, getting tagged by the wheel. But I, high school really wants to build the 50 bar here, getting access to the Sword of Judgment super. Ooh. Overdrive available, may use it to cash out, but we can do one more mix of Monarch Castle Life Leap here. 
Yeah. Try to air dash forward. But the gravity well slowing you down, even in the air, gravity is in effect. That air dash slow from high school. Round start tackle. All right, immediate burst. No more of that. No more of that. High school didn't get much, but it at least got the DP sealed. Uh oh. To try to get out, makes more space. Gravity well. Oh, unlocking sword. sword. Yeah. Overhead not blocked. Make something happen with this sword. It's got DP and sword unlocked. So we got some utility up on deck. Well, they can test this long range with sword and this close range with DP. But the time is tick, tick, ticking away. And now Ice School has given up the only option to stop the clock. Monarch can't play for time here. Uh -oh. oh, bashing on the stagger. Full confirm. Not full confirm for Ice School. Hey, hey. Look at the damage. All right, one hit here. Oh, you felt that one. That crush trigger connecting on the mash. Counter hit. Level three. Action. I'm so curious as to what the crowd is saying. I gotta know. It's gibberish at this point to me, but. Well, it doesn't block the overhead, but no will confirm. Set a hold, catching on the stagger here. Monarch gonna be able to hey. set up this corner situation. Wheel, gravity well, all two of way, these two way, two excellent way. tools to keep Susano locked down. Delay, delay two ways. All right, makes more space. Set up the gravity well, maybe. Yeah, they can. Monarch is making the spike chaser whiff just to make it harder for Ice School uh -oh. to escape. Here we go. This is where it starts. Burst and overdrive available for Monarch. We'll spend the burst. Believing in the neutral here. Monarch, no more options if Ice School gets in. But can Ice School get in into 5B range? Need to get out. One oh, 4B. No. Oh, no, but we dropped. So We're playing a lot faster now. Overdrive available, 40 seconds left on the clock. Barnard has a lot of zoning to do if they want to go for the timeout. Oh my the god! Deepest run through the gravity well. Three seconds. Oh! Not hey. enough, even with the bar. Monarch, no bar, no resource, no burst, no nothing. High school forcing the issue. Crush trigger, bar available. Oh no! But the descending JC, Monarch isn't enough. Let's see, it all comes down and to it this. goes. Your Frosty Faustings reigning champion is Monarch once again. Returning to an ice cool, such a good showing in winners finals, able to defeat Monarch, but I mean, one of the, the top player of CF for a reason, able to run it 6-1 versus Ice Cool in a long set. Late at night when you got to be focused the entire time. Honestly, I got to give props to Ice Cool, man. That, it's hard playing 10 a.m. to 10 to what, what time is this? Oh, uh, 11.30 p.m. Yes. You know, it's it's very difficult. You know, I it's it's hard to commentate. Um, <laughs> that long as well but yeah. you know it's i'm here i'm here still and uh after a lot of red bull and a lot of uh water shouts out to water stay hydrated uh i really need to use the bathroom uh but honestly that that top eight i couldn't ask for anything better we got some uh real good bangers we we got to see demarcus cousins the fourth play once more in the states and of course uh monarch retaining his crown at the frosty yeah. frosty champion Able to defend and keep it an exciting, right? It wasn't easy for Monarch sent to lose. I hate watching Monarch play. And forced to fight I, out. I hate that. watching You're Monarch play. I, I hate absolutely Monarch. hate people blocking. <laughs> How dare they? Someone's got to get the timeout counts. I hope no one was doing a, a water drinking challenge in the audience for how many times Monarch uh, times, timed out because they would have to go to the bathroom really bad right now. <laughs> and we got our Monarch... Our, Monarch ceremony ready to go. Our medal ceremony ready to go. Every Blaze Blue medal ceremony is a Monarch ceremony. Yeah, apparently, uh, especially at Frosty Fastings, you know, reigning champion of how many years now? <laughs> All right. Thank you, everyone, for coming out to our 
Frosty Fasting 16 Blaze Blue Central Fiction. Yo, take us home, Tantis. Let's go. Yeah, shout out to Tantis. Work right? that crowd. <laughs> Let's get a round of applause kind of for our Central yeah. Fiction Top 8. In seventh place, Days. Yeah, you know. Days. I don't. I don't know Days. I only know a thirteen blades. Nah, showing up, rocking the mind, and I mean, this tied is with him bracket. for seventh place, Uri. You know, shouts out to Uri, Lab Monster. Unfortunately, one of the victims yes. falling to Demarcus. You know, playing a top tier is In nice and all, but it only place, gets so far. DGF. Yep. Another victim to the, the Demarcus curse. <laughs> the next Demarcus victim. You know? Tied with him for fifth place, we have Bad Lime. Yeah, Bad Lime. I, I, I need know, to see the crowd cheer for the Demarcus Cousins. Ne never saw the racial, but, uh, you know, Bad And Lime in fourth super place, well in Demarcus Cousins, the fourth. Yo, big audience reception here, loving DeMarc. Again, unseated, making making a huge <laughs> run through this bracket. Unknown Selica player. That brings us to our top three, starting with Kairos. Yo, making it to the podium, bronze medal here for Kairos, playing so many games here. In second place, Ice Cool. And again. Was not able to finish it, but Ice Cool was playing out of his mind. I would this be corner. so tired. I'm And your Frosty fatigued. Faustings, three time Blaze Blue Central Fiction champion, Monarch! Able to do it again. You know, you love to see. It's hard to do a split. three peat, man. Yeah. It's, it's, that's a hat trick. Big, and the Monarch Dynasty just keeps going. You're hoisting the trophy. Another one for the collection. I'm about to rob him. I'm going to find <laughs> out where he lives. I'm robbing him. He's taking all three of those well, trophies late home. night. Security's gone home. Hey, man. I'm going to find out where his hotel room is. And be like, hey, man. Get in there. This is the only way to win the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> steal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we rob and steal both with overdrives and resets, but also in real life. I don't condone violence, okay? Uh, don't don't uh, take anything we say to heart. Likewise. Don't steal, don't fight people. Uh, be a nice person, and maybe you'll uh, end up, uh, you know, playing as good as Monarch in Blaze Blue. <laughs> yeah, Monarch playing so well because of that moral fortitude. Monarch's just such a good person. Yes, that he's such a good person for. that uh, he all he does, he doesn't, want, he doesn't want violence. That's why he blocks so much. But... Once again, guys, thank you so much for joining in for another exciting year of Blaze Blue Central Fiction over here at Frosty Faustings. I am Nobody XE. Dead word here, once again, at Frosty Faustings. Thank you so much for sticking with it through the top eight. You know, not kind of what people expect from Blaze Blue, but when you want to win, this is how you play. And I mean, Monarch wants to win. Exactly. And once again, this is us signing off. Peace out and good night.